Imso underscore site just resubscribed for 11 months, now totes. Hi everybody! Happy... Is today Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hello. <laughs> How is everybody doing? How is everybody surviving? Amethyst, first goat, best goat. I love you so much. Sounds? Why are the sounds not coming through? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is unacceptable. Yes, big congratulations to Egg with your beautiful purple check. 
so good. Also, it's like, thank you for 11 months. Thank you for being my friend for almost a whole year. I am so grateful for you. I love you very, very much. Uh, I am I'm upset about, were you guys, did you guys hear the sound commands? I literally... I literally just checked this. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Oh my gosh, like, we will talk. <laughs> How would they know? Then, okay. How would they know? I can't. I can't. Oh my god, why I did just, I have to I choose the long Oh my god. <laughs> why? Okay. And why is sometimes when we get a bit there's angry, Albies. Okay. Do you know what we like to do? Maybe the the bot just wasn't here we talk yet. It through. As a crew. Okay. Who else did I miss? Marlowe's. Oh, look at me! I'm gonna go touch the bot. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think Amethyst. Aren't you gonna join us in the pooping? Okay. I don't know. I don't know, because yeah, I was, I just got show she's in, and so I was just playing with it before stream, but I don't know. Technology is never really my friend. Laz, and you were sitting, setting up your school desk. So, Albie, today was your first day of classes. How was it? How did it go? How are you doing? Maybe bot just needed a second. Tammy the mama goat bot just needed a minute. <laughs> you way enough for sound, sound command. You know, you can redeem it, and then you just send it to me when you're ready. I don't know what it would be. I'm always happily surprised by what people choose. Um, and it always fits them very well. <laughs> Technically yesterday, but I don't have any Wednesday classes. Um, hmm. Well, yay. First day. First day. Oh, also, this is my friend. Um, I don't have a name yet. I don't know when I got them, but it's been relatively recently, but I have managed to keep them mine, and Tiny Toads has not stolen him yet, so. Him, them, they, I don't know, but look at them. And, um, I'm having a, if you're in our Discord, then you probably know that I'm having a weird brain day. Well, not really, well, kind of weird, yeah, because it's like a lot of up and down feelings. And so... I uh, am probably going to be hanging with our little buddy while, <laughs> while we build today. Just because they bring me joy and they're cozy. And also because I'm sitting directly in front of the air conditioner, I'm actually a little bit cold. Not a ton, but just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what the egg song is. I love you, Five Ever I love everybody. It's so nice to see so many friends. How are you all doing on this Thursday? What are you up to? Getting ready for streams, playing Sims, trying to get work day done, all the things. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I even have any sound commands in anyone's channel anymore. Because um, things get like, you know, reset after a while, which is good. But, um, so I don't even know what I would want my sound commands to be if I was doing... I mean, I just add the sound commands I like. And so I think that there's a list somewhere over on the About page. <laughs> You're trying to get to the courage to do your shot. I totally get that. Oh, I guess... Yeah, because it's like evening time for you already. What are you having for dinner? I think Grumpy is making spaghetti and meatballs. You should have one <laughs> in Sykes. All your VIPs can have them. That's true. But that's the thing, like, is I don't know what I would do, so I don't, I don't try. <laughs> I don't know what, which one would be, like, there's a couple that I've seen that have been cute, like, I think that mine and Rachel's for a long time was, your tote's amazing, which was very cute. Um, <laughs> your one meal so far was a really yummy kimchi bowl. You'll have ice cream later, that's very good. I had Pop-Tart and yogurt, which is better than sometimes. And, you know, um, I get to have spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. <laughs> uh, I always just buy the boxes of the cinnamon apple, a 
apple cinnamon cinnamon pop tarts because they're easy easy peasy um but i don't know i like i've struggled with like food stuff lately and i think it's mainly because it's so hot so like hot foods sound terrible which basically means all food sounds terrible um and so pop tarts have been a really good go-to because they're not hot <laughs> Because I don't toast them, I just eat it. And so, um, yeah, that's my big thing right now. You had 7-Eleven pizza and you got a pint of ice cream. That's very good. I think Grumpy gave me the last bowl of ice cream last night because they love me very much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so, my friends, my friends. I don't know um, if you were here for when we worked on this before but let me show you exclamation point shell so uh <laughs> i had forgotten what we did with our giant goat lady our lark inspired shell um and i knew it was something fun but i like opened up my sims game and came into like because we had to test it right so <laughs> This is how I came into it earlier too, and I haven't done anything. But like we were here as me, I joined some random family that is full of people who are not going to school apparently <laughs> to make sure that things kind of worked. Uh, mainly because, oh, and because I had to buy the llamas and you can't like place the llamas in build mode. Which really makes no sense to me like if i can place a baby why can't i place a llama but that's fine so here is our llama cafe so far um the roofing is it's it's special it's very special i think um and this is just like, I haven't done anything this stuff, but like, yeah, basically I mainly was working last time on just trying to like make it go together. Well, because like, I don't know if you've seen the shell yet, but I, I don't know why I did this to myself. Why can't I just see my own? Oh, there we go. Um, there's a lot of circular walls and interesting shapes to uh, make our beautiful lark as a Sims building. So, <laughs> it was good, it's, it's been good. And so now we have llamas inside, which took a lot of work. And so we've got Albi Llama, who is currently uh, fine. <laughs> we've got Amethyst Llama, who is happy yay and then raven llama who is also happy and tipao of vulcan llama who is fine and then did i have another llama or did i just have four llamas i think i decided four llamas wasn't llamas. so okay now we actually have to like do the inside now that we have our llamas so did something change or am I in a weird camera setting? I feel like I used to be able to push down on my scroll button and like spin my view. Am I, has it been that long since I've played The Sims? That can't be right. Oh, okay. I did not realize I was not on The Sims 3 camera. That was the problem. <laughs> Um, okay. So, the way I was thinking of that as bath. Okay, do I? I also probably need to put some kind of stairs to get up here. And I don't really know what I want this to be for. I'm like trying to imagine like what what is the story behind this llama cafe that ha that looks like a house. Um, and so maybe it could be that like it 
was a purchase. So like maybe they bought the house and the floor downstairs was ruined or something. And so they were like, we have, we can have llamas. That's, that's what I would do. Maybe that's because that's how my brain functions. <laughs> it's like, what? You don't want to have? Okay. So then maybe what I'll do is have this upstairs area be like attic storage. Which then makes it easy to put a ladder instead of like actual stairwell. So I would love if I could put a ladder, right? Mm. I would prefer it not in like the main area and probably I guess not in the bathroom, but why are you trying to get me to get rid of my llamas game? Hang on, I'm gonna turn on. Move on. on. First AP. Mm. Oh, I put it right there. Is that just like, that's outside. That is a ladder into the roof. Well, I suppose if it was an old house, then maybe there would be a stair. Okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. Oh my goodness! Gamer76, welcome. I hope you are having a very good day. How was your stream? What were you up to in The Sims? What were you playing? Were you building? Were you doing some gameplay? What were your Sims up to? We are currently working on um, my shell challenge, so which is a very strange build, but we decided, I decided, to make a llama cafe, which is kind of working, to be fair. The llamas are in the building. The llamas are in the building. <laughs> That's all that really matters. You're doing not so fairy. What generation are you on? I always really like, I love legacy challenges. I love them so much and I'm so bad at them. I'm like, I just like, I, I struggle to keep going with it. And so eggs odd money challenge has been like the longest I've done. And I'm only on generation two. So it's, but it's like the most amount of time I've put into two generations of Sims. <laughs> Plum. Oh my gosh, so fun. I love that so very much. Well, friends, if you don't know me, you can call me totes. Uh, my pronouns are, I think she, they. We've been, I've been playing with that a little bit and I might have updated a few of my email signatures today. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Welcome in. One thing we always like to do when we have new folks come in is I like to let you know the kind of space you're walking into. And it's one that says loudly and regularly, Black Lives Matter. We are on indigenous land. Science is real. Abolition is possible. Women's rights and trans rights are human rights. Love is love. Boundaries are necessary. Your identity is valid and you are worthy of love and respect. And if that's the kind of space that you want to help us cultivate, welcome in. And if you do need to move into lurk mode, into like some rest to get some food or take care of yourself, Mandy, please, 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 please take care of yourself. I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for sharing your community with me. Beanie, and you were talking about this recently and that we noticed we tend to default to using they for you for me most of the time. I love that. Um, yeah, we've talked about that like off and on a little bit over the last like year or so. I've been kind of like, you know, doing a lot of unmasking work and figuring out some stuff. And one of the things was like, there's definitely something about, um, they pronouns that maybe works a little bit better for me right now and so mandy you're gonna lurk and get some dinner and feed the doggo oh my gosh please give your doggo all of the kisses and tell them hello and i hope that you have a very good night and have very delicious dinner thank you so much for that lurk and thank you again for that raid 
Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, so that's been a fun thing. It's like, oh, I need to start, like, maybe trying it in more places than just when asked in social settings. Um, okay. I cannot put this ladder here. Unless I turned this into, like, a little, like, fire escape balcony? In which case, the ladder should be out here. Which wouldn't make any sense. Who would build a house like that? I would. I would build a house like that, apparently. That's unfortunate. Ah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Because I'm trying to think about it as like, okay, I think what will help me is before I even worry about the stairs. So the story with our little house is, can I just delete the floors? If I, this will delete the room. <gasps> no, deleted the floor. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, there's some interesting shadows happening over here. Okay. We'll delete the floors downstairs. And maybe we can, like, make it look a little bit more like they've been doing a bunch of work on it. I think would be really fun. Am I a little bit inspired? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to, like, send the VOD to my friends Keith and Abby because I am a little bit inspired by their house, um, when I went to see them in Ohio. And so... I think that might be part of, like, my inspiration. Like, they, they do not have llamas in their house, to be, like, they don't. But if the house that they live in... <laughs> oh, my gosh, thank you so much for that follow, Fax. I hope you're having a good day. Um, But if they did have llamas in their house, you know? Uh, okay, so for sure, that main space has no floors. And then, what if we just took... I know, I know. Okay, so that floor gone. I'm just gonna take all the floors out downstairs. No floors. No floors, just weird shadows. No floors. Only scary shadows. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, like doesn't, like, if their house maybe wasn't in Ohio, but in, like, somewhere where there's llamas. <laughs> I really, like, this is very cute. I found a screenshot. Look at, look at, who is this? Who is, who is being the cutest llama in the doorway? Who is it? Oh my god. Who is it? <laughs> now it won't tell me. Albie, Albie, it's you. You're being the cutest. Like, look at you. You're just like ready to say hello. <laughs> okay. So if downstairs has no floors, then like, I wish we had like a of like stairs that looked old and bad like haunted house stairs or you know what would be really nice that i really wish i had right now freaking spiral staircase like a real spiral staircase we can't do them right they don't have we don't have that ability like the the most i could do would be which ends up taking up so much floor space um oh thanks mandy yeah i think sitting right in front of us right now uh so closest to us the blonde goat there is tammy and then behind her the little white and brown goat is adora and then i don't know if you can see lark because she's in the shadows and she's uh dark brown but that's lark behind or or maybe daisy but probably lark <laughs> yeah they're so sweet Although, Lark is becoming, um, a bit of a marshmallow thief. 
we were making s'mores um with shoshi and her kiddos the other day and lark was like fully trying to steal marshmallows from us like and coming up to the children and just like <laughs> trying to snatch nibbles thank you it's getting pretty faded right now but we're getting there i i like i think eventually i'll want to do a little bit more of like a mint color to it but um i do like the turquoise a lot it brings me much joy even though it's very messy right now because i did i did the good thing and i showered because lottie told me not to sit in my filth this morning <laughs> and, but i did not shampoo today because i did not want to i kind of like the idea of something like this maybe because it it kind of is giving me maybe not this stairway itself but it's giving me like if we were to do something like this i think it might help yeah for sure for sure um i was just thinking it might give me something Just scary nose. No, it was probably the goats, actually. But I want different stairs, but kind of like a fire escape style stairwell, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see here. <laughs> so. I'm thinking about this space. It probably would make more sense. I think that even if this was a family home at one point, this space up here would have to be like an attic. It's too small for anything else. Like you can't fit a bed in here. Show me a bed. Okay, well, I guess you could fit a bed in here, but like... <laughs> barely. So I think we're just gonna pretend that it was always meant to be an attic. And then I don't have to feel bad about it. Okay. Classic wooden ladder. Oh. I haven't done anything with the trellises. Um, ladder top must be what? Connected to a block or terrain. I'm so, so many questions. Also, okay. We'll come back to that. I think we'll go with plastic wood ladder. That's easy enough. Um, it would be kind of nice maybe if we had it coming through from like over here somewhere. Yeah, that's in the roof. Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help anybody. Let's see. So, is that... Well... Yeah, I don't like it in the middle of the space. Let's see. If you were... Oh, you know what it is? My stuff is on diagonals. I forgot that I put so many diagonals in this show. Okay, but if we put that there. And then... Mm -hmm. 
You will need to come back. Well, then why don't I just delete this whole bit? Oh, and then I can get rid of these uh, suspiciously shaped pieces. Now there's a penis on the top. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> When did that happen? Was that always there? How did I not see that before? I'm so upset. Um, okay. We're gonna... We're just gonna leave that. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know how to process. Um... Can I put you there? I mean, yes, but it's weird. <laughs> okay, but now it's no longer a BB. So that makes me feel better. Um, then you can go like over there. Nope. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst roofing I've ever done. Is it good? I don't think so, but it's not a penis. So that's a, a bonus, I guess. Um, okay, so where did I put that ladder? <laughs> Oh, there's no floor for this one. No floor. Um. Okay, the ladder is gone. I lost it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll put a new ladder. Mm. How is like this the perfect spot for it? Like, just blocking that door. But that's a great spot. <laughs> um, okay. I guess if I, if I move the door here? I mean, technically, I don't think I'll be able to use that door. Like, it can't go over one. I guess it goes there. Okay. Um, that's better. Okay, I feel better about that, because then at least it's not, like, in the center of the room. Okay. That is better. pretty much ready just to have stuff in it well and then we now there kind of could be a little bit more added to it for storage but i don't know i wish there was i guess i don't know let's see maybe that will be better and so what I really want, honestly, is I want like crumbled stairs. I want stairs like ruined stairs. Uh, maybe. Um, they're not really the right height. 
Alright, let's go. Hmm. Put it like that. I mean, I suppose we could always. We do have the power of the nine button. Yes, I thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and evening. Mm. And then. I want, like, I also, I, I do want columns, yes, but I also want, like, things that aren't columns, but kind of look like they could be. Hmm. I'm gonna maybe use I, I wanna I'm gonna have to use these rebellious trellises in other places but hmm. but also like if I just put it to no window what do they do do they just climb up and down like they're just practicing do they get rock climbing skill when they are climbing trellises do they start okay they're fine it's fine <laughs> let's see I am looking for things that can be part of my broken stairway. Mm. I don't really want them. I don't want it to be like spooky. Hi, Raven. How are you doing today? I was just talking about you because I've got your little llama here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Are you this llama? No, you're this llama. This is the t Llama. This is the Raven Llama. How is your Thursday? What are you up to? Huh? I mean, what if we did something like... Oh, that's not what I want. Like, as a way to, like, block it off? But then you could kind of, like, still see, like, Oh, yeah, there used to be stairs to go up stairs maybe maybe i am putting too much lore behind the llama cafe but i just <laughs> i've got a lot of questions you're good working on building skills very fun Ooh, a modern mansion that sounds like a fun build what exactly does a modern mansion like look like? Like, what's the style? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. The Llama Cafe is bringing me some really nice serotonin today, which is really good. Um, and it's been like, like I was saying when we started stream, it's kind of been this like roller coaster today. Of um, and it's also like we talk about hormonal things going on as well, but it's been a roller coaster. So I'm just grateful to get to have some time to I don't know build a llama cafe and dream about having a goat cafe could you imagine that would be the worst I don't want to eat next to the goats Lark would steal everybody's marshmallows we already know this about her It is, but so complicated. I got a huge building from Cali to take inspiration. Lots of expensive water features and weird paths. Fun! I love that. Mm. 
I think I could go dark brown for our stairway cage. Oh, thank you so much for that follow, Duck Dean. How are you? I hope you are having a very good day. Would you prefer to be called Duck or Dean or neither? Let me know. Happy to help. Um, I keep trying to like figure out are things getting the right swatch on that. This one is yes. That there we go. I was like, that can't be right. That looks better. Better. Oh, we do need to make sure that the uh dealy bob that we placed upstairs to avoid the issue. Oh no, okay, wait. I'm just gonna delete that part. Albie, you're so cute with your head poking out the door. Duck, that sounds very good. Hi, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and then I do think I took out part of the roofing somewhere on and yes there I would like mm, much better and now the house isn't quite as terribly shaped it actually is so cute <laughs> I would live here until you go inside and realize that there's no floors. But, you know, you make sacrifices. Okay. So we have the stairs. I kind of feel like we need to start with the inside a little bit. And I want to terrain paint instead of using floor. I want dirt. I always kind of feel like the dirt in The Sims is never as dirty. <laughs> it's never as dirty as I want it to be. I want it to feel like dirt, and I just feel like it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one who complains about the dirt swatches. It might, it might just be a me problem, honestly. <laughs> but you know, that's fine. I'm also... So, I'm trying to remember what was not that one. What's that? Okay. Because I also, like, kind of want to try and make things match with the area around us as well. Let's see. Yeah, this is a build unlike, I, I think, anything I've ever tried <laughs> before. Um, I don't think I've ever attempted something quite, quite like this. Okay, so those are kind of where the entrances are for the area. Most people showed up right around here, so I think this is definitely the main, like, entry point for Sims, which makes sense. Um... I wonder what that brown is. Cause it'd be nice, cause I, that's, it might be that. Precarious pine cup, right? It definitely has, it's similar at least. At least it's a little bit closer to what our, <laughs> the area around us is using for their dirt. I just like, it'd be kind of cool if The Sims could like show us like, hey, uh, in this world, the predominant like swatches for terrain or the predominant trees are, like give me the ecological uh, rundown of each of The Sims worlds. That would be great. because I would love to know, like, what plants are native to what Sims area? 
because like we can kind of guess based on what's in the different packs and stuff, but maybe I'm just being silly. I just hope my terrain pain doesn't get lost. Because <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> like. Okay. I like that a little bit better. It's also just like, it's so dark in there, even with all of those lights. Um, do I build mostly or gameplay? I do a lot of both. I kind of go through phases, so... I kind of go through phases where I'm like really interested in gameplay. Usually when new packs came out, come out, I actually am surprised. I have not been super drawn to the high school pack. I thought I was going to like really dig into that a little bit, but I have just had very little interest. Um, but I definitely love a nice lurky build day. What about you? Are you more towards the actual gameplay or... I think if you were to look at like the percentage of my hours playing, like on The Sims, I would say it's probably pretty 50-50. I tend to do like more casts, like create a sim stuff off stream, just because I am really slow and I always get, <laughs> I always get nervous that people are like annoyed at the fact that I will take two hours to choose the right eyebrows. And so, <laughs> I don't think anyone actually is annoyed about it, but I just, I feel a pressure to choose eyebrows faster than I'm maybe able to. <laughs> okay, I, that is giving me a little bit better of the like, the light color that I wanted. Right? Well, because like things are, they're important. It's important to get it right. Um, let's see. I might need something a little bit deeper in our greens. But yes. Hi, Shoshi! The build by in the new pack looks really good. I haven't gotten to play with it as much yet, but I'm definitely very interested. I'm going to assume that there probably wouldn't be much actual grass inside the building because the llamas and also there's like not a lot of direct sunlight so maybe we'll do like a few weeds i know my our old goat barn had a bottomless like i didn't have a floor so like the dirt was the floor and there was and like they like put down stuff beforehand and then like put but like there was like one really like long <laughs> blackberry vine that just was like nah i'm gonna be here i want to i want to be inside too um, my gallery ID is totes MG, which I think if I do, is it, is it that one? Um, and it, I think if you search the totes a goat shell three as a hashtag, it will be there. Also, hi, Shoshi. I love you so much. How are you doing? Shoshi can attest that Lark will steal your marshmallows. <laughs> Marshmallow thievery. Okay. Not done terrain painting, obviously, but that gives me a better idea. It's like helping me to picture this very strange thing that I'm building. Um, but I do think that that looks better and is helping my brain a lot. Um, and I think what I'm actually going to do instead of this. Oh, Kirsten, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Let me know if Kirsten works for you, if there was a particular name that you'd like me to call you. Uh, Lark is Marshmallow 3 Thief 007. She's not even 007, though, because she's not, like, she's not sneaky. She's, in fact, bad at it. Here, I think what I'm actually going to do is put these, my fake stairs in this room and have this be like a where the rubble went when they re renovated <laughs> that's gonna be my idea for it that's gonna be the rubble room okay and i liked apparently i liked this stool or no it's the coffee table when we were doing all of this um and 
I just set it down. So we had it in here. I do, I mean, it is very cute. I don't know how much, I do want to make sure that we are inside. And so I'm trying to think, let's maybe put, so I also like, we need to be able to feed the goat or the llamas. We have, they have to be able to take care of them. Kirsten, thank you so much for uh, pulling up our Patreon link. It's brand new, just started not really doing a ton yet, but it does mean early access for YouTube videos. Um, and I'm trying to get caught up on that stuff. Oh, honey, I want you to step away back. Thank you. Because you don't have pants on. Did you want to go get some pants on? Because mommy's streaming. I just see my pants. Honey. Very good. You did it. I'm very proud. What's going on? This is my friend. Are you gonna steal him? <laughs> you only have 2.5 dogs. Is Dolly a 0.5 dog? Uh, are you taking I would like to keep my friend, please. Oh, or if you want to take my friend, go bring me a different squishy to cuddle. cuddle. Bring me a trade. <laughs> so what is so is that two dogs and dolly your cat is a 0.5 dog i feel like tiny kitten is a 1.5 dog i'm gonna put this here we'll see ah. then because like my main concern is like i don't want it to get to the point oh. where oh thank you okay i tried <laughs> does this unicorn have a name Yes. What's its name? Squishy Unicorn. Squishy Unicorn? Rainbow. Mm-hmm. And so Squishy Unicorn Rainbow, what is what pronouns does Squishy Unicorn Rainbow use? She, she her? Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. <laughs> okay. Squishy Unicorn Rainbow. I don't love this part. What? She's poking me. Can you, can I, can I trade you back? Or can I, I... get one without the Okay, well, I need something to hold until you bring me a new one. That is not <laughs> a cuddly toy. Oh. That one also still has a horn, sweetie. I need you to go inside. Okay. Uh, dog sitting and managing to overbook by mistake, which would be fine. But then menace is really a menace. It doesn't didn't get along with the other three that are here. Oh my gosh, three point five. Oh no. Oh, that's a very good one. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Like, it's like I have a tiny totes. Um, but honey. Shoshi, I love the sound. Uh, well, I hope that the, the dogs uh, rest for you. Thank you. And maybe try, maybe don't be as much of a menace. I don't know. We have two dogs and I can't imagine more. <laughs> I can't imagine more. Oh, we have two dogs. Tiny toes over there. And then if this is like a little coffee table, did I find any little chairs I liked? Hmm. So I'm not totally opposed to there being, um, TBD treats are a good thing. The hard thing is when your dog's sitting is like, you need to like have, like you can't just give your, <laughs> the things that you might give your dog, right? Like, because people get really protective, rightly so, of their animals and so. All right, I think we can probably still pet the llamas. Let's go test it. Um, 
Let's feed Amethyst. I know. Totes, can you just get over this way? <laughs> but yeah, I know that helps a lot of dogs that have a lot of like anxiety stuff. Okay. Uh, why did we not take care of Amethyst? Let's. Can we shear Amethyst wolves? No, we cannot get to her. Um. I feel like. Well, okay. How about? How about Alby? Yeah. Thank you, Mandy. Have a good rest of your stream, or have a good rest of your day. I forget that you're you're done streaming. You get to rest now. <laughs> And thank you again for that, right? I appreciate you so, so, so much. Oh, okay. Feed Albie. I can't feed Albie. Feed Raven. Oh, Raven disappeared, but I think was fed. Where'd Raven go? Oh my god. No, but like... He's not in my pocket. What did you... Totes? What did you do to Raven? What are you eating? A scone. Where did he go? Uh... Uh... <laughs> yes, right? Like, not meat. <laughs> but, oh, where are all the llamas? Oh, here's one llama. Is that Albie? No, Amethyst. Okay. And Amethyst and Albie. Oh, and then they're back. Oh. Okay, Raven's, like, yelling. Can we feed Raven now? Okay, random. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Raven just spat at Darren Goss. That's rude. Um, what if I give... Okay. That's fun. Okay. Albie is yelling. Out. So technically you can, it just, like, some, if the llamas aren't close enough to you, then you won't be able to, which I guess is probably a fair way for that to function. <laughs> so that's not too bad. I'm just, like, I'm also trying to think about, like, how many, I think what I'm going to do is just have a few sort of like seating area spots inside and then have most of the seating area outside. I think that is probably going to be the best situation. But I really want to use this little coffee table. Which means like little sofa chairs? Oh my gosh, this wicker love seat. I guess I haven't really looked at it much of the stuff from um, the new high school pack, but I love, I love this love seat. But that is pretty cute. Mm, I think I like more of like the green to yellow colors best. Yeah, so she uh, to get the kids from school and maybe do a play. That sounds so good. I hope that the kids had a good day at school. Let's see. Oh, I was typing. I was typing in my chat instead of where I wanted to move my camera. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Let's see here. Mm. What are, like, cafe things? Not much. 
if I just go to Cafe Items, there we go. Hmm, interesting. We could add some music, venue wall speaker, and we could set it. Um, what kind of music would be playing? I feel like it's probably going to be like either S pop or I can imagine like singer songwriter as well. I don't think I would have it play cottagecore music, although what is cottagecore music? Because I feel like I need to try it out. Or there's a focus m music which helps with studying homework and other activities that require concentration. Or metal. Gosh, I do kind of like the idea of them playing metal, but I just feel like that is not accurate. I feel like S-pop is probably probably more accurate to what they would actually be playing. Let's see. I'll put one there. And... One over here. I do think we are gonna want some outdoor receptacles. But I'm not really ready to work on the outside yet. <laughs> um, okay. I appreciate that this guy was like, oh, this is a spot to sit? I sit. But I'm not quite ready for that yet. Hmm. <laughs> So we have this room set up as the bathroom. We've got like the main like walk-in area. And so I suppose we could like have this, maybe have this be like pantry slash uh, like break room slash freezer area maybe? And then Quite know what I want to do with this room. <laughs> hmm. A lot of options for our little cafe. Um. I do like the idea of. They're the same cops. What's the difference between the toilet from university and the toilet from high school? There probably isn't a difference. <laughs> oh, um, I think if we're gonna have like a single non-gendered bathroom, it might be nice to like have relatively good. Okay, floors go down because there's just too many of you. Let's see. I want like this toilet. Oh, maybe this is the well, no, because this is like the fancy toilet that talks at you. I want an off the grid toilet style thing like it came with the house original thing. Like, that's very cute. Like, original bath, original toilet. Probably still connected to the original septic tank. <sighs> oh, I made myself sad. Uh, let's see. Um, what you see is what you buy. After initial attempts to sell customers perishable food products sight unseen. Okay, so I, I do want to add because, you know, they, they usually have something like this in most places, right? Um, did I make it so that person would be trapped in there now? Yeah, okay. So that's not quite the answer. Hang on. Um... Where do I want to put this fridge? I kind of actually think I want to put it right here. 
in which case I need to move that door because that door is not working. Oh, I'm into the sink. Um, so if we put this door here, oh, which would also probably be good since I had a fully open door into the bathroom from that side. So yeah, I should probably probably go with a different uh, different door there. Okay, <laughs> so much better. Oh goodness. Okay. I still would love like a fancy sink, but what is this thing? Golden Ultra Wide Pro Computer. That's very cool. I this is not quite a computer lava cap. Hmm. I feel like we could probably give the house a plaque since it's old in my head. Ah, put that there. Pretend that it's a little Sims historical society. Um. I do appreciate the like paper towel dispenser. And, oh, we should probably put a few of these, like, <laughs> sanitizer dispensers around since we're gonna want them. Because you should clean your hands often, especially if you're touching animals. Um, it feels like a weird spot, but I guess it's okay. I, I will help you with that um, in just a little bit here, okay, honey bun? <laughs> Tiny Totes lost the password for her diary. Or not the password, the key for her diary. Um... Yeah, I'm just kind of interesting there's not more, like, I feel like it'd be kind of cool if they had more things, like, this could also be in a cafe. But it's mostly just the community item stuff. Okay, well then. Let's see. How I like it's so funny because I, I so rarely do floors and like painting first, but I feel like I need to do that. Um, let's see here. I think we'll use this for upstairs. This is from the new high school pack, huh? Wow, I really have not. <laughs> I have not touched the high school pack at all. I just haven't really been simming as much lately. I didn't, not for any particular reason, but just, it's been busy. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea of like something like this for in here. And then maybe we could like Kind of decorate from there. And that way, like, there's not, like, too much to do with the wall. It's not too fancy. Like, they basically, like, cleaned it up a little bit. 
I don't know though, because then you have like this wallpaper that just looks like it's so fun. Hmm. How do I get this clean room? I mean, this is like if it was dirt. It's not made of dirt. I mean, in theory, it's probably either like probably more like a drywall. Maybe more like the plastic style? Oh, I do like this, like, with adding, like, the strip of color. It's kind of fun. Mm. Oh, and that matches, like, the banisters. I like that. I think it kind of like helps lighten it up in there as well. I'm just like, I also just feel like the reality is, is that this would be brown from all of the llama dust because llamas are dusty. And so maybe I shouldn't try to make it look nice. Maybe I should try to make it look more real. I'm just like not quite sure yet. I do want it to be, I want it to feel kind of warm. Hmm. That is closer. Hmm. Oh, you opened it. Good job, honey bun. What can I help you with? Oh, yes. Yeah, you had me write down a bunch of stuff so you could um, practice words. Do you know what these words are? A. Mm -hmm. B. C. D. D. Is that the whole alphabet right there? No. <laughs> Open. Well, I'm glad you figured it out. I'm going to hand it back to you so you can take it and go write your private thoughts in it. Because that's your private diary. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean. I want it to feel like they're trying to make it better. And I'm just like, I'm having a hard time. Hmm. So I don't want it to feel like it's like dilapidated. I want it to feel like some fancy people bought a dilapidated house and have been working to make it less bad. Maybe something like this? Hmm. Maybe. That wallpaper is hard to use. I haven't figured it out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I just... I'm looking for something so specific in my brain, but I don't even know how to fully describe like what it is that I'm looking for in terms of like what I want it to look like. Cause like, I have this like silly lore story in my head. I kind of like this. And then maybe I wish I had different colors or different swatches for it. Like I think it's supposed to be to starboard, so I think it's supposed to be like ship paint, maybe? Hmm. And then I'm always like, I always second guess myself when it comes to wallpapers. But I like the idea of like the main area where the llamas are 
just being the wood paneling and then maybe trying to find the, a spot with like we could do like some cute like wallpaper that kind of is cute i don't know if that's something that like the fancy <laughs> new folks who would who just moved in would choose but i kind of like it um maybe something more simple I mean, that's not terrible. Especially, I feel like, you know what I love about this? This is like a base game, but there is a swatch for every different like stripe pattern and uh, like and color, but also like the molding, the molding. What is this? Oh, I love that. That is not for here, but I do like it very much. What if all of our columns are using like white though? And then I don't think we should make the bathroom red, right? Red bathrooms are scary. No one no one wants to go in a red bathroom. Just let it be yellow. It'll be fine. I mean, is it weird if they have the same wallpaper for their, for, like, but just in different swatches in every room? No, oh, that'd be weird. I like this blue for this room, I think. I think I'm just gonna put that starboard there. So I think, like, really what I would like is kind of, like, different do some different like wood paneling is that what i'm wanting do i actually know no it's all oh but like even like is this what i was looking for something more like this where it's like it's worn but functional how are these two different And slightly less dirty. Well, or dirty in a different way, maybe? It's kind of hard to just look. Um, okay. I just like. Maybe? Maybe? I don't hate that. But... I'm also not absolutely it. Okay, I think what I'd like to imagine is... They don't bother too much with this... With this... With these walls because they're gonna get dusty and dirty anyway. And then maybe we do go ahead and put some concrete down. For these rooms. Because then that would give us, like, then it would make more sense to try on the walls and the decoration. Like, if you're, like, okay. That is helping. And then I can use the new high school pack one. I like this one. I kind of like the idea because in theory, like, the sims are mainly coming into main llama area, this hallway to get to the bathroom, or the main entryway. Thanks, I think it's Maybe getting it? I really like this wall, but I think that's a little bit too light. I think I like that a little bit better. 
Okay. Hmm. You're so sweet. It's like, like, like hyping me up with my walls. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Trying to like, fit, like, tell the story of the llama cafe. <laughs> Um, okay. Alright, I am gonna take a quick little breaky break um, to get up and do a little wiggle. Friends, if you need to do a little wiggle, now is the time. Stand up, stay seated, stay laying down if that's where you are. But we will be uh, back in two shakes of a goat's tail. Yes, like, I'll see you later. Have a good night. Ear be have to come up for like to sit try and see. Oh my goodness, the hops! So many hops. Go sir, tell me I made that possible in a couple of minutes. Very good. Car. This is there a is monster truck. Up the ramp. Uh, oh, hurry. Oh, yeah. oh god. Okay, I'm coming back. Turning around. Uh, please, Toots. Please what? Um, driving. <laughs> oh, okay, that works too. Well, that works uh, too. I kind of messed that up, Fair I know. Enough. But okay, I enough. So I killed oh, somebody. Oh, look, I have pot. They die. Um. What? Okay. I'm hopping. I'm just a shark in the woods, rolling around. Totally normal behavior. Guys talking on campus. Food can be dehydrated, but chefs shouldn't be. DJ Shu Sue Chef. It, her name is Sue Chef. Have I been playing for an hour and a half and just now realized the pun? Of course that's true. Of course it took me that long. Joke about barnacles. Uh, nice, Natalia. I just received the following Pac-Mate gift from Lou. One spaghetti. Man, she's really peeing. She peed forever. One more until we have pee domination. Just a... Just a little spaghetti. Okay. I mean, that's nice. You know, it might be charged enough. Let's we'll try it for a little bit. See how it goes. Hard yeah, his day. pants are still weird. Oh no. That, that's not right, right? I'm not crazy. Hi, Marlo. Marlo. What is this? Hi, Hannah. How are you today? How was your Thursday? Hope you are having a good day and that your arms are doing things that they are supposed to do. Oh, that- Oh! What the heck was that? It's like three feet long and then I was having a nightmare. I did not notice this. Um. Okay, but happy now. I'm glad happy now. I'm just still getting there, but it's definitely like sort of the dream. Um, that's one of the reasons why. Baby. What a good baby you mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, tell me. What? What is it? I don't know. i just a baby. I think actually. Mark in the background is priceless. I know she's just like, that's my baby. So hearing it. Can you tell us you want to come help me say this? Yeah. We say Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. We are on indigenous land. We are on indigenous yeah. land. Yeah. Science is real. Science is real. Abolition is possible. Abolition is possible. Women's rights and trans rights are human rights. Human life. <laughs> love is love. Love is love. 
Boundaries are necessary. Boundaries are necessary. Your identity is valid. Your identity is valid. You are worthy of love and respect. Kristoff, you are the father! Kristoff is the daddy of darling babies! Very short. What happens when I crouch? Am I so little? Yeah, you're very little. <laughs> Look, now I can climb. <laughs> you're doing a little squat. <laughs> Grumpy! Grumpy! I'm gonna have two! What? I'm dead. Grumpy, pick me up! <laughs> Come carry me! This is what wedding vows are about. You have to carry me into the circle. Grumpy! Three lives that I got left. Oh, you're oh, also no. dead. Okay, I'm I'm crawling. Oh, no. I'm a crawling. Honestly, it was that <laughs> the vehicle decided that it was going to do this weird, like, I'm going to turn 90 degrees now. There was someone else. Yep, it was totally here. all the vehicle. That oh, over here. All right. I'm okay. <laughs> a little attacked. A little attacked, but I'm fine. It's fine. And we return. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely like that better. And then I think what I want to do is Oh no, Raven, what have you done? I also don't know what you have done. So I cannot assist until I have more information. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. Hi, Grumpy. I and this old Zorpa's hair is grumpy! Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Uh, you were placing freezes and the circle wall started changing colors like a rave. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, we've, I mean, I've got definitely some very interesting shadows happening because of the circle walls. Um, yeah, I mean, it probably wasn't the smartest idea to do circle walls. But, you know, sometimes you just don't think things through when you're just trying to make a, a goat in a build, out of a building. <laughs> um, I kind of would like to do that. I like, I'm going to use these a lot. These canopy lights I did not realize existed and now I am obsessed. Obsessed. Um, but I was looking for actually was more of like, I want like a, a light that you would like in an attic see where like, you know, someone pulls the little dealy bob. I guess maybe something like this would be good. That's kind of what I'm imagining anyway for upstairs. Um. Okay. I haven't tried to send anybody up here. Maybe I should? Well, I'll do that later. <laughs> I'm not ready to do that yet. Okay. Um, let's see. I really like these. I wonder... That's cute. But I think that's blocking the door, right? Mm. 
probably just leave that. Uh, your game just crashed after you deleted a room. Oh my god. <laughs> Raven, what's happening? Oh no. Oh no, that's... I'm so sorry, my friend. I... I wish I could help. <laughs> okay, I think what I want to do... Okay, okay. I know I originally said no floors, and now there's floors. And now there's about to be even more floors, because... What I want to do is have like cement tiles i think it's probably gonna be these ones hey I, I can't tell if these are what i'm thinking i didn't put it on the other side of it did it it doesn't... I can't... No, I can't tell. Yes, it did. Okay. That's like... They're the same color to me on my screen. Um... Well, maybe not that. Maybe just, uh, do... Okay, okay. Because I want it to feel like where things are placed are on purpose. And so maybe if we did terrain paint. Oh my gosh. Uh, be small. I mean, it doesn't feel super perfect, but it feels like at least it's like kind of more purpose for. I'm just like trying to like make things like make sense. <laughs> I'm trying to make this llama K logical. I'm trying to build it in a very logical way. It's not it's not easy. But we can we can do it. We can make it work. Um I think mainly is I want to put a rug underneath this weird little couch area, and I just feel weird about it, because the llamas are going to pee on the rug. But they're also probably going to pee on the tables and on the people. And they've already spat at someone. So maybe I shouldn't worry too much about... <laughs> about that, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Okay, and then I was going to delete the floor in here, because I realized I did not want the floor in here. Mm -hmm. I think I like that better. Mm -hmm. I think I'm still gonna end up putting a rug in the llama place, in the llama area, and it's gonna be a mistake, but I'm not gonna be able to stop myself. Hi, Lottie! Yes, yes, this is my, uh, Squishmallow. I think it was, so I think what happened was, Tiny Totes was, like, picking out her big prize for finishing the six-mile hike that we did, and... She originally saw this little guy, and I was like, oh, is that going to be the big prize? And she goes, no, no, no. Uh, but I think, and she tells me, I think this one is for you. And I said, well, but I don't know if I really need a Squishmallow. And she said, you need it. And I think it was, whatever the last stream was, where I was a PNG tuber and I was a chibi. And I can't remember what I was doing, but I literally just sat here the whole stream just like, cuddling my squishmallow and so that's what i'm doing today and it works nice because i am also sitting directly in front of an ac unit and so it's nice to have just a little little buddy and so it's very good how are you doing lottie how was your afternoon 
Were you able to get a little break from the interwebs? Um, okay. I don't want it to be... I want flooring that doesn't look as... I mean, see, that's like dirt floor, dirt floor. Always yes to the Squishmallow, for sure. But yes, and thank you for being so sweet to me. I love you so much. I am feeling better. The llamas are bringing me a lot of joy. Just like... Even though we're paused because we're in build mode, like, just their presence is... I'm, I'm just very grateful for. Actually, I'm going to say, friends, if you are doing something that might require saving, here's your friendly reminder. Do that now. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you so much for that follow. Is it Cylon? If that's what she would like me to call you, if there's another name that you would prefer, please let me know. I hope you are having a good Thursday. I am feeling cozy. Feeling cozy and thinking about what kind of flooring do you put in a house where the flooring crumbled and so instead you put llamas inside of it and turned it into a llama cafe. Mm. I don't know how this is industrial flooring. Silent is great. Loving the cozy stream. Thanks so much, Silent. I'm glad. Honestly, I'm really enjoying the Sims build by music right now. It's like giving me like really nice little brain vibes in my headphones. And so I don't know if you are enjoying that. I wish that there was like some settings you could press that could be like, hey, Sims, this is music I really like. Can all of my build by music be this? Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Quick meet with Jojo teacher and missed the deadline like you thought for the bus, but got to sign him up uh, two weeks. Uh, the bus line, the bus line returns, or no, I guess it's not the bus line, you have to, like, sit in the pickup line and drop off line at school then, huh? That's no fun. Hmm. What about, so we have outdoor. I kind of like this a little bit better because at least it's, like, it's more than just this, so this is the just slab of concrete. Which is also not as bad as nothing. Uh, yes, check the stuff on the stove for sure. <laughs> oh, I love the little peak emoji. It's my favorite. I don't know if anyone ever notices or has like chat up, but usually like once I start, pre like when I'm like actually like actively trying to get things ready to start stream. So I'm like, you know, switching things from subscriber mode and, and all of that. Um, I always put the little totes peak emoji in chat. <laughs> and so, if you were ever sitting with the chat open for some reason, as I was getting ready, you would see that. You would also, like, today have seen me do a bunch of exclamation point Shoshi to test Shoshi's command, since we finally got that. I finally put that in for them. Um, hmm. I think... I kind of like the idea of stained concrete because it does kind of like fit with our storytelling, right? That uh, <laughs> said P emoji and I was like, wait, wait, yeah, you know, the P emoji, obviously Marvel. <laughs> no. Mind out of the gutter. I kind of like these because it's like, so it's stained concrete. Ooh, okay. I think that's the winner for me. I think that, like, is it's, like, giving what I'm looking for from the flooring. Like, effort, but not too much. Yay, Raven, I'm so glad. What happened? How did you break it so badly? <laughs> hmm... I like this. Just like sometimes like random movies be like, well, I wonder what my sim is thinking right now. Probably very curious about. There's a coffee cup on the floor. 
Queen Lottie Plays just resubscribed for eight months. We almost got a baby. Lottie! Thank you so, so, so much. I love you so much. I can't believe eight months. That's true. It's almost as long as it takes to grow a human baby. That's crazy. I love you so, so, so much. I hope that you are getting some rest now, at least that you're getting ready for dinner and stuff. But, e, e, I love you so, so, so much. I hope that you enjoy your emotes and add free viewing. Yes. Are you are you already thinking about Twitch baby names? Because that is also very important. So you know what? You're right, Arrow. It's true. Technically, it's 40 weeks, which is 10 months. But they say nine months. They literally will say 40 weeks, nine months. Which I think depending on what month you started i don't know i have no idea how it, how they do that i am i just know how how it is but i think it's generally because it's usually like nine months from when most people uh who have the ability to be pregnant find out that they are if they're going to be uh oh thanks raven i'm I'm, I feel like I'm moving slow with it, but that's fine because it's like just bringing me joy just thinking about the backstory. This is probably the most lore I've put into a build, like the most backstory behind a build, um, which is pretty fun. What if I, well, and so, okay, never mind. I was going to say, what if I like outlined the dirt <laughs> with our cement like for like our big dirt room and then i remembered that this big dirt room is on the diagonal because i uh i'm cruel <laughs> and built it that way hi arrow also uh, arrow you i know that you already spoke and now i'm saying hi arrow again but i just like realized i probably didn't say hi but i hope that you're having a good thursday um Yeah, well, and it's also just, like, most people don't always know, like, exact dates that things happen. And all that jazz. But still, you've been lurking since the beginning. I appreciate. I appreciate the lurks. Arrow, are you looking forward to starting back up at work again? Arrow springs from the darkness like that, man. That's very good. That's so fun. I'm putting in a bunch of wicker furniture. Will the llamas eat it? Do they care? Maybe they just won't care. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know that, like, for us, I'm really looking forward to Tiny Totes starting school again. Not just because, like, sometimes Mama just needs <laughs> to breathe. But also because like having that schedule for her is really important and it um is just <laughs> important. <sighs> but we'll see. I kind of like I kind of like that a little bit. I just Yeah, okay. I am gonna do that. We'll have some hay spots. Yay, Cylon! Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a good rest of your day. So, let's do maybe one here. Oh god. I feel like my camera is weird. Like, my camera is being weird. And maybe it's just that... I feel like it hasn't been that long since I played The Sims. I, originally, it was on The Sims 
four camera, which I didn't like. And so then I did this. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure it will be fine. Body, what are you cooking on the stove? What you making? I would love maybe a few more things like... I think really I just want a little like spot to sit with this sofa. Because it's kind of weird to have just like just a sofa in the middle of the restaurant. It feels weird. Ooh. Rocking chairs? Yes. Is that going to... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. This is one of the ones... Man, every single time I see these things... Sofa in the middle of a customer? Maybe. Uh, no. I, like, the, the high school pack wicker stuff, I'm kind of obsessed with. Like, I'm now realizing that I don't think I actually looked at any of the build by stuff. Um... that's probably okay and then no like they just and they're like exactly like the feel that i want for this little space um yes and I'm trying to find the right well actually no maybe i should have you match better or at least hmm I'm also trying to avoid, like, things that are actually, like, fully, like, pure white, because they would not be that color. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kind of like this, with the pink. I think that's kind of cute. Okay. I'm gonna put a rug down. I'm gonna put a rug down in the llama room. I, I don't know how to not. I just... <laughs> Oh, these are cute. Their texture stays nice when they're made big, too. Hmm. Rug hungry? What? May I take your rug order, please? Yes. I'll have one rug over easy. No, wait, on the wheat toast. No, I want the Calico Kitty, or I mean the Deco D's Arg. I want them all. Fill up on some tasty rugs for your room today from the Rug Hungry collection. Totally satisfying by short order cooks. Um. Is the Sims team okay? Like, are. Th Okay, it makes more sense when you look at the swatches and there's, like, um, the bread and egg. Uh, <laughs> I do like this rug very much, but I don't know. That was just a lot. <laughs> um... I don't know why I am putting rugs down in this space, but I just feel like, I just feel like they're needed. <laughs> I couldn't do the square tiles the way I want, but I can do the rugs. Um, this is really cute. Oh, with the stars? <gasps> Ooh. Ah! It's rainbow. Okay. Well, this... This furry rainbow guy is the centerpiece. <laughs> I do like that very much. Yes, that was that that's a very good rug. I feel like my rug complaints have been heard. I think, I think this table needs to move like here. And I think I'd rather have that there. I still haven't decided if I like this rug yet. Like, in terms of... I guess the swatches aren't terrible. They're just not really... 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I do like that. What if we use this for like our line area? Come here, thingy. Make you big. Bring you over. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey, what's going on? Yeah. I can paint up my pistol horn. Nice! That sounds like a great plan. Good job. Honeytails has been doing some really awesome paintings lately. I need, I have some paintings I still need to send out, actually, because I've been bad. And then I was just like, well, I'm going to see some of the people soon, so maybe I'll just save postage, because postage is expensive. I'm on this I don't know, but can we not take the yarn into the garage, please? Can you keep it inside the house? Thank you. Oh, okay. Mm, no, I think I like just having the one. So if I think... I think that's not too bad. Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put it more in the middle. <sighs> oh. When you're just trying so hard. There we go. That I like a lot. Okay. Let's also move, I move that like there. And then move this one here. I feel like my, my concern is, like, even though Amethyst can go inside and outside through, like, and can transmute herself through walls, I'm, I'm worried if the, other, <laughs> if the others can't. So, uh, maybe I'll just leave that for right now. And I think so, so, okay, besides the rainbow rug... Oh, and there's the reliable rug. Mm, I mean, it's cute, I guess. I really like this floral print. Instant transmission, <laughs> Goku style. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Mm, hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like I like the idea of rock rug, but I don't like rock rug in practice. Oh, but I do like this kitty rug a lot. Oh, the llama transported. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like just sort of a. Well, I don't really think it's a teleport so much as they just walk through. <laughs> They're just not really uh, made of bones. They're just a. Uh, fourth dimensional fluff and so really we only ever see the pinky of a llama I don't know my brain <laughs> oh when you start just like randomly like blabber talking without <laughs> without a filter oh the oh the things you will say hmm okay I like I am liking this a lot right now it still feels dark, but I wonder if maybe we did, like, a neon light behind the Feely Bob, if that would make me feel better. And yeah, I go right to the, <laughs> the miscellaneous lights. Um, I do like the idea of something like this outside, maybe? I don't know, I also feel very nervous about it because of the llama. <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z Super, uh, the Super, I think Goku can do an instant transport thing. Interesting. I, you know, I feel like I, I wish that I, like, had cared about Dragon Ball when, like, the other kids my age were caring about it. Because, like... It does feel like a cultural touchstone that I'm just, like, missing. Um. Probably shouldn't have open candles. 
with the llama. I keep forgetting. Um, I do want this lamp to live somewhere. So right now it's going to live right there. Because it's bringing me a lot of joy. Um, like, how do you really know it's a drought? What if it's a llama? It's got a lampshade on its head. How can you tell? I was looking for some lights to go behind our little cafe, Dilly Bob. You only know some. Sailor Moon. Yeah. I think that, like, I, because my anime experience wasn't super, um, like, like, I was, like, watching stuff that people, like, shared with me, so I didn't get to, like, I didn't really watch the stuff that was, like, already being dubbed and, and played on our televisions, like, on Cartoon Network and stuff. I kind of like these. They look like, it looks like they've updated them. They don't look as bad as they used to, but, or maybe it's just because we're in the context of my giant llama cafe. That's probably has more to do with it. Hmm. I kind of like, oh my God. Hi, Hoblet, you scared me. That was so loud. I am gonna uh, turn that down. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> How are you, Hoplet? What are you up to today? Lex says y'all are love. Always. Always. Especially if she can steal your marshmallows. <laughs> what are you up to today? Um, I, it, yeah, so I'm kind of feeling like these I think are kind of cute. And maybe if we put them... I'm not quite sure what's happening on this wall over here. Uh, that sounds right, but I watched Hannah Barber for Scooby Doo and Dragon Ball. It was on the same time. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Lottie. So Shoshi had her kids over, or had their kids over last weekend, and we did a little fire pit and made s'mores. And Lark just comes on over into the other side of the yard, and she's trying to snatch marshmallows from everyone. She doesn't care. She didn't, doesn't discriminate. She's trying to steal them from me, from Shoshi, from the children. <laughs> um, causing trouble in uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag mostly. How have you been? And it's been a lot, but it's been good overall, I think. That's kind of what I keep coming down to is that, like, the, uh, the net output so far of my life is positive. <laughs> But yeah, I really, I watched a lot of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. For me, growing up, it was pretty much like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo from like 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, summertime was just watching Scooby-Doo. To be, to be totally honest. That, that's pretty much like we would go to swim lessons and we would play outside and then uh it'd be noon and so we'd have lunch and we'd sit and we would watch uh all the cartoons um scooby-doo is your jam and old looney tunes for sure i just been it's been fun like lately watching some of the newer um like kids content that's coming out like i've been watching a lot of owl house and i've been watching a lot of dead end and uh like, it's just been kind of cool to see, like, all of the representation and then also just, like, wishing that I had that representation when I was a kid. Like, I like I would have loved to have a show like Owl House. Granted, my mom probably would have not let me watch it, but I would have found a way. Because <laughs> I always did. Um, my ceiling is really weird. Do you see that? Is that normal? Is it always going to be that way? Is that okay? I just, I'm gonna pretend that it's fine. That it's supposed to be that way. 
I don't really look at ceilings very often. So no one does. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think about it. Ah. I don't need to look at it though. So I feel like that. I like that with the the lights behind it. I feel like that helps a lot. I wonder, maybe we could do some additional... I just, like, I don't want to crowd the space inside the main cafe. Which is hard because, like, so much of my building is, like, cluttery. And so I'm, like, trying to think about, like, what can I put on the walls? That would make sense. And it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to, like, find the right things. Um... Oh, that's a really cute little oil lamp. I'm gonna put that upstairs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but... Because that's one thing, is I want to fill the upstairs with, like, antiques. Like one of these guys. I can probably go up there. Oh, Not in the wall, though. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Laddie, what do you think? Do you think I'll be able to convince you to try my shell? I do like these little lights. Mood, Scooby-Doo, Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I know that like it got a lot of hate or whatever, but Freddy Prince Jr. and <laughs> freaking Scooby-Doo when I was a kid, I thought was just like the coolest. I was just like, oh, Freddie Prince Jr., you understand. Give you a reason to play Sims. See? It, it, I don't know if you've seen it, Lottie, but it is, it's tough. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of circles. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, diagonal walls. Oh my gosh, I miss Captain Planet. Like, why, why don't we have more Captain Planet? Hmm. Let's see. Sarah Michelle Gellar making Daphne a badass and then making it canon in the Scooby-Doo movie following. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, and then, um, who was it who played Velma in that movie? Because that was a whole <laughs> other, like, brain breakthrough. Um, Haley Kiyoko. I don't know what else she's, they've been in. Wait, this is wrong. Maybe yes? Now I'm so confused. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, Haley Kyoko. I'm gonna have to like look her up later. See if she's in anything else. <laughs> Is it? Linda Cardellini? See, now I'm Googling things. This is not helping me build my llama cafe. <sighs> yes. See, that's who I imagine as Velma. Why? Why is my... Okay. I think... Yes. Yes. You are correct. Raven, I, cause that's who, that's who I'm thinking of, and she has been a t in a ton of stuff since Scooby Doo, back in 2009, if you can believe it. But she is known for playing Scooby Doo. Oh, you know what it was? Is the internet was trying to tell me about the 2009 Scooby Doo, not the 2002 Scooby Doo. Oh. 
Um. Oh, and she was in Avengers: Age of Ultron. Laura Barton. Interesting. Anyway, anyway, distractions. Too many distractions. Let's see. Now, I know, isn't that so funny? Like, all the things in hindsight, it's like, oh, I, I, I see so many things that I feel like I should have known. Let's see here. I just wanted to kind of look around and see if there were like these I feel like would be really cute but I'm trying to not make I'm trying to not use cottage living stuff because I think that would be too easy since it's a llama cafe I think it would be expected but like what are these these are the new things these are new things from the new pack these are really cute gosh darn it why are so many things from this pack so cute even though I haven't done any gameplay with it Hmm. Scooby-Doo Zombie Island, the cartoon movie. Oh my gosh. And it was always on, too. Like, it was always on. Like. Hmm. Hey, I can't tell you how many times I watched that during the summertime. Because, like, that and, like, I feel like the zombie one was probably the main one but i'm trying to think if there was any others that i like i saw a lot of the ones with the globe trotters i feel like played a lot which was really fun because i really liked glo the globe trotters um yeah cyber chase i mean there have been some really good um some really really fun and good like scooby-doo movies i don't know i i like scooby-doo <laughs> personally i think it's silly and fun i know you probably don't know you probably are wondering what i'm trying to do right now i don't fully know yet i will let you know when i figure it out but i'm i'm trying something <laughs> and it's probably not gonna work the way I want it to, but I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, okay. okay. I have a different, better idea. I need just, like... So I was watching some of the, um... I was watching some, like, shell tours by, I think, Fake Gamer Girl, maybe? I can't remember. She's a YouTuber. Um, who I just like relatively recently started following and I was like watching and a lot of people would, would use lights to like spell stuff out and I thought that was really fun and so I I want to do that <laughs> um, oh where they had yeah the cartoons where they had the special guest uh, did you watch the like the kids Scooby-Doo show that was on for a while where they were like children sort of um, if the Batman meets Scooby-Doo cartoon movie on VHS, let's go. Um, let's see. Mm. What should we write? I should have thought about that. <laughs> A pup named Scooby-Doo, yes! oh my gosh my childhood yeah it would usually be like a lot of scooby-doo a lot of a pup named scooby-doo and a lot of um mm, but like the jetsons during the summers and then like i'm trying to think I mean, I think I was definitely, like, more Cartoon Network kid than a Disney or, like, Nickelodeon kid when I was a kid. I think, like, a lot of the Nickelodeon shows I liked more when I was a teenager, like the Danny Phantoms and stuff, which is now just so unfortunate because the Fairly Odd Parents guy is such a big ol' yucky yuck. Um, but Powerpuff Girls, yes. 
Um, I know I've been like trying to get Tiny Totes into Powerpuff Girls. I'm trying to think what other like stuff I watch. I watch a lot of Angry Beavers, which my mom like tried to uh, ban, which didn't totally work, but she tried. I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of shows. Um, you can still sing this, still sing the theme song. I love that, Raven. I'm trying so hard. I'm like using every brain cell to like try and get this little light where I want it. <laughs> You hated that your mom called them powder puff girls. Like, <laughs> I wonder if she was trolling, because like I like you gotta like you gotta know this line. <laughs> you did Thundercats. Let's go. See, I never got into Thundercats or like She-Ra and stuff. Like, and I, I think that a lot of like the reasoning for that was that like it was just easier to turn on like. The Cartoon Network stuff, and at the time that wasn't on it for me. Um, also, a lot of magic school buffs like, so much magic school buffs. Like, if you weren't in love with Ms. Frizzle, were you human <laughs> at that point in our lives, right? Um, I watched Thundercats, but that was more your, uh, your sister cartoon because it came out when she was a kid. That makes sense. I'm trying to think. Also, like, a lot of Smurfs. Which, like, now is kind of funny to think about. Because, like, the Smurfs movies, like, are not for me. <laughs> and, but, man, I really, like... I watched a lot of Smurfs. And it was a weird show. Just... A weird show for children. <laughs> uh... What is the weirdest children's show that you grew up watching that you didn't think was weird until you were an adult and looked back on it? Or the weirdest thing that you probably shouldn't have watched that probably wasn't really a children's show but you thought was a children's show? Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yep. Yep. Yep, uh, I could. <laughs> that is definitely way up there for me. Um, really got a lot of stuff in it. Freaking love courage. Favorite episodes and nephew that was shaving him. Oh no. I can't even remember any particular episodes. I just remember like images. I just have images in my head of a lot of like teeth from what like with courage. There was a lot of teeth and fingernails in that show. Um <laughs> I don't know if that is a helpful uh way to remember it but that's how I remember it. Um, and so... <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, what was another one that was like, oh, that's interesting. I just think there was like courage. Oh, Invader Zim. Um, Invader Zim for sure. I'm just like, I look back on it and I'm like, what? This is for children. <laughs> you fell in love with Twitch the Witch from the bathtub in Courage. I understand. That makes perfect sense to me. It was mainly because of Gur, though, right? Like, I just... I, Gur is the original, like, <laughs> manic pixie dream dog. And... <laughs> But I don't know, 
that's pretty cool. Kablam was so underrated. That sounds really familiar, but I don't remember it. Would you refresh my memory? What was it about? Mm, you know what was also really fun was uh, Dexter's Laboratory. That was part of that, like, same, like, Powerpuff Girls era. Honestly, Lottie, I literally almost just said Powderpuff Girls because now that's in my head. You hated Cat Dog because it made you uncomfy. I, I remember liking Cat Dog, but not... Maybe, okay, I can't remember if it was that my mom didn't want me to watch Cat Dog because she didn't like it and thought it was wrong for some reason or other, or if I didn't like it. Um, but I remember Cat Dog. I remember there was a cat and a dog. Or uh, Rocco's Modern Life is one that probably should not have been for children, and definitely, like, looking back, I remember, like, oh, yeah, that was probably a weird one. <laughs> Um, was the cartoon inside a comic book and we would play like different little shows on it. Oh. I have a question about the bathroom situation for Cat Dog. Because you didn't know where the poop came out? I mean, it is an important question. I think everybody had that question. Um, because like, where does the poop come out? Because they're both eating all the time. I feel like there was a Futurama episode with a creature that was similar. And when it got sick, it was very upsetting. Um. <laughs> but. I don't know. Just so many, like, but I don't know, too. Like, I also just think that, like, you know, people get all, like, upset and worried about, like, Oh, but this show and this show. And it's just like, you know, I'm just really grateful right now because my kiddo's getting cartoons about like trans kids and cartoons about um, all the different kinds of people that you can love and all the different kinds of people that you can be. And like, that's just her normal. And so I'm just grateful for that. Um, but I do, I do laugh at like the nostalgia of all of like these old shows and there's some that I really hope do like I wonder if they will ever like you know will come back in fun ways like I'm excited about um I think it was like the Barbie movie with Ryan Reynolds no not Ryan Reynolds Ryan Gosling other Ryan you just had a flashback to Tootstein Tootie Stein I am not sure what that means. I don't know if I'm going to be able to write llama in cursive in a way that is understandable. It's about a pharaoh mummy that woke up in the 21st century. I feel like I remember that too. Well, no, I remember there was definitely a lot of mummies in Scooby-Doo, but that's like just an always sort of situation. <laughs> hmm. But see, I feel like there's been a lot of, maybe it was just the Scooby-Doo one that I'm remembering. So I was like, maybe th I was trying to think if there had been like another show that did that with a mummy waking up like in the future but it might have just been memories from scooby-doo past i mean it's a great concept right like talking dog group of kids finding the truth about the spooky mysteries except for when it's uh like a movie or a special and then it's actual supernatural stuff i never understood that like i 
I was always confused by that logic that in like the, every TV series, it's always like some guy in a mask who's just a jerk. But in the um, like a lot of the movies and like a lot of the specials, like it's there is like a supernatural element um, and also some jerk in a mask. Loke and I, you were talking, are you afraid of the dark yesterday because you're watching American Horror Stories? Yes. Um, I couldn't watch Are You Afraid of the Dark or Goosebumps. Like, I could read the Goosebumps books. I could not watch the show. It gave me the worst nightmares. I was like, that's why I never thought I would like scary games or anything because I was just a baby baby when it came to that kind of stuff. But how, how times change. <laughs> What's going on, honey? Yeah? Oh, okay, when I take my next break, I'll come in and look, okay? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> uh, first it was the town and the hot author film happened. has uh, was turned into, wait, turned out to be a deck and summoned his dead ancestor. <laughs> the show was spooky, that's why I loved it. Uh, I think it was like the adrenaline rush of scary things, but would never do a haunted house. I've done haunted houses and stuff, and I just like, to me, that's not fun because like, I don't know, that's just not fun for me. But um, I know it's fun for other people, and so I'm glad that they get to do that. I would much rather play Phasmo. I would even rather play Forewarned than go to a real haunted house. I'm trying to spell out llamas, but I have a feeling like this L doesn't really look like an L. Like it should. Like I probably need to make this one more of a full cursive L. And this is supposed to be an A. And this is gonna be an M, but I, I just I'm I'm getting doubtful as I work on this right now. I'm losing, I'm losing some of my confidence in my plan. Um, mainly because I literally, like, just forgot how to spell llama just now. There's only one M, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> my brain just was like, no, you can't forget that. I did. Okay, I think we can do it. We might be able to get, like, squeeze a little A in. <gasps> ah. Okay, it's a little, it's a little smushed. I mean, but also we can move it around. The main thing is like, can I, can I spell out llama? And then also, is it readable? Or am I just creating constellations with my mind? <laughs> you just know my brain couldn't compute. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm sorry, I didn't say it more often while I was getting it ready. Okay, so. Yeah, I think I would need to fix that the first L so it looks more like um, this L. It does look like llama. That's good. Uh, 
That makes me feel better. Thank you, Raven. <laughs> I appreciate you. Like, if I'm going to a llama cafe, I want them to be really proud that it's a llama cafe. I want, I want llama stuff all over the place. Would you go to a llama cafe? I know, like, I'd go to a goat cafe. I mean, maybe not like a full goat cafe. I eat outside where my goats are sometimes. Maybe that's a little bit different than going into an enclosed space. Mm, I feel like this needs to look more like its counterpart. A few things go over here for a second. Oh, no. Okay. Get here. Um, so this is a little bit more forward. It's funny, it's like I made this L earlier, but can I recreate it without staring at it as intensely as possible? The more I, that I look at these little shapes, the more they look like little squares instead of like whatever the shape is that they're supposed to be. Mm. Okay. That part feels better. Like they don't have to be exactly the same, but. And then, hmm, I really want to have this, uh, what you call it, vending machine here, but thank you, Shoshi, I am saving right now, thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that so, so, so much, Whew, that's a good reminder, very good reminder, let's see, let's see, Okay. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, this. Where can I put this instead? I suppose it doesn't have to be. You found something weird again? What did you find? I would like to hear about it. I guess we can put this here. Like, people aren't gonna not use the like pay for vending machine. Okay. And then. Okay. I wonder, like, is that A is pretty small? Half walls are broken. Oh no. Um, let me look. Because now I'm too curious. Too curious, too curious. Oh. Oh. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, Raven. I don't I don't quite know how to assist you with that one. Ah. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, I do kind of like that. I think I want this little A to be better though. Because it's not really enough like an A.
Mm. Llama. Okay, does that look like it says llama? If you walked in here, would you expect there to be llamas? <laughs> um, okay, honey, I'll take a break right now and I'll come check in, okay? Okay, I'll be right there. I'm gonna go take a quick little break to see Tiny Totes' amazing um, creation. Uh, so, a couple of minutes, take a minute. Like, you're not missing anything. We just completed our llama. I'm gonna save again because I'm very proud of my little llama. And we will be right back. <laughs> Rainbow House for our sim today. Rainbow House. Do, 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 do. Rainbow House for our sim today. Rainbow House. Do, 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 do. Rainbow House. But we just had goats, but no carrots. We had chickens. We had chickens. Does your cat all chicken? Oh, I get the blanket back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you want to pause? Oh, how did that happen? I was trying to. Oh, oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, again. That is not even dirty. Not even dirty. Doesn't need to shower. He just says, mm, it's raining. I am going to be outside naked in the rain. There. There. Hearing it. Tiny Toast, do you want to come help me say this? Yeah. Can we say Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. We are on indigenous land. We are on indigenous yeah. land. Science is real. Science is real. Abolition is possible. Abolition is possible. Women's rights and trans rights are human rights. Human rights. <laughs> love is love. Love is love. Boundaries are necessary. Boundaries are necessary. Your identity is valid. Your identity is valid. You are worthy of love and respect. Okay, can we check in? Check in at front desk. Is Chevre in here dancing? Oh my gosh, Chevre. Ma'am. Like, Nan's already back there. Oh my god. Okay, well, uh, so Nan is PNG for when you're hanging out with me. That would be more based on your outfits and stuff. Mine. Mm -hmm. Mine. Yeah. Okay. You ready to go take a break? Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's saying it. Mm hmm. It said ma ha ha ha. Yep. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hannah. How are you today? How was your Thursday? Hope you are having a good day and that your arms are doing things that they are supposed to do. Oh, that. Oh! The one thing with the arm is like three feet long and then I was having a nightmare. I did not notice this. Um. I'm happy now. I'm glad happy now. I'm just. Ethiopian food because a lot of it is eating with your hands like I just like with the pandemic I was too weirded out but um you don't like the last name hands well Izzy is from 
our flag means death. So he's a gay pirate. There is, is there just a freaking... I swear to God, I swear to God, I just saw a freaking robot. What? I swear I just... Baby. What a good baby you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, tell me. What? What is it? I don't know, I just a baby. I think actually I'm working the background is priceless. I know she's just like, that's my baby. So Oh, Stella is your main, but like part of that is so I can hang out with Gretchen. Gretchen is incredible. Alright, shall we? Then there's a dog! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Dog mare! Dog mare! Dog mare! Dog mare! Yes! <laughs> the and there's a few cats, but there's also a, a deer and a, a polar bear. What do you think? Hi, polar bear mama. Hi. She's like, fuck. <laughs> Go to the cafe. <laughs> oh, and she'll take the other baby with her. There we go. Um, will somebody clip that for me? Did somebody clip that? Oh no, I'm noping out. Poor bears are keep to me to do about it. It's autumn. That's tourist season in Scarlet Hollow. I can't turn away the lifeblood of this town, not with a mine faltering the way it is. There was a mine collapse last night. We don't need any more news of disaster coming out of Scarlet Hollow. Do you understand? Oh my God, F the mayor. F the mayor. I agree with Gretchen. Look, me and Gretchen. Oh, what's this? I don't know, history. Me and Gretchen, same face. Same disappointed face. Yes, we made, we made this cheese. I'm so proud, so proud of the cheese. And it tastes really good. I've already, uh, I've already sampled. And so now we are scooping out the insides of jalapenos and I got my little hot plate behind me and we'll grill them up and then I'm gonna eat it. Like Nan's already back there. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so Nan is, so this is how it currently is, right? You just go into a big machine. You can be in an existing save, you think? Oh, I thought that you couldn't. I think I thought you had to start a new save every time you did a new scenario. Um, medical intern. Why is he T posing? Oh my god. Make entities are attractive as a human. Greedy women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non Euclidean geometry are smoking hot. They've got curves I can literally get lost in. Oh my gosh. Is, that, is there a ghost writing book near his little area? Nope. There is. Oh, no. Yeah, he's very aggressive. Oh, does yeah. that mean that we're all dead? Yeah. Well? Yeah. Well? I'm there's a lot of bodies in here. Oh my god, I just watched that. That was upsetting. I actually can't watch the, uh... I have circled oh, your eye. Yeah, I wasn't... I'm going poop. What just happened? Oh, good. Okay, keep being mean. Because we need her to dislike you. Uh, insult. You're okay, you're laying down relaxing before either putting away laundry or dishes. Very good. Ask to be flower pal at wedding? What wedding? What wedding? You're not, you're already married. We already have. I can't. I can't, I can't even think about it. 
Okay, can you try to be a Ah. Distracted. Okay. Oh no, my heart! Um. Put clothes on top of possum. Uh. Can I ask him his name? I have returned. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Just, I don't know. Sometimes people amaze me. <laughs> Thanks, Raven. Um, let's see. Okay, I like my llama sign. That brings me joy. I'm gonna look at my llamas. I think let's let's add some more llamas. We need more llamas. That is important oh now i remember what we had to do we had to go to our own house buy sheds put them put the llama like buy llamas for the sheds at our house and then put the llamas in our pockets and bring them here that's what we had to do to get the four llamas but I want more llamas. I don't know. Do we need more llamas? Four llamas is a good amount of llamas. We don't have any llamas outside. Besides, like, this llama. And, and this llama, which is not a real llama and is actually kind of terrifying the more you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> the more you look at it, the more scary that it is. <laughs> ah. Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna move my camera over here, and I'm gonna get back to building. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um. I mean, do we want to do some wall decorations? I'm just kind of like... I know, I mean, I guess upstairs we're going to need to do some major cobwebbing and stuff because I kind of want it to feel like nobody goes up here. But I don't know, like, that's a lot, that's a lot, God, that's a lot to do, but yeah, I'm gonna, like, okay. We can at least do some of this piece, because I think it's, well, why can't the cobwebs be up against the walls in ways that make sense? Ugh, controls. Oh my God. Okay, I think right now what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna turn BB.move objects off, just so I can place some cobwebs up against a wall. Is that up against a wall? No. Okay, never mind. I have to turn objects. Come back. I need you. Okay. Well, let's see. Hmm. What? Hi, T-Pow! We're doing good. The llamas are doing good. Your T-Pow llama is doing good. We just checked in on her earlier. There's Raven. They're happy. You're feeling fine and clean and full and you're okay. <laughs> but you get to stand on the rainbow rug, which means... It's your rug, which is very fun. But I think it's coming together. I have like a whole like lore story. But look, I made I made an art. I wrote words. <laughs> oh 
but yeah so like the lore around it is basically that like this was originally like an estate home that was uh condemned because the floor caved in and so now the floor in the main area is like what you call it dirt and so instead of just demolishing the this beautiful old house they bought it and turned it into a llama cafe i used it's um one of the wall lights just shrunk down a little bit i think it's one of the wall lights that is that you need either hidden objects or live edit on to like place because it's from like the fabricator fabricator and so then upstairs is going to be like all the old antiques and um cobwebs and like other storagey things and maybe a room no llamas upstairs though llamas do not go upstairs oh interesting the way that wall cracks have weird shadows on the rounded walls i mean it's not surprising i was curious those ones aren't bad And that one's not too bad either. Hmm. I just don't like the cobwebs. They're just like not giving me what I want. They're not giving me what I'm looking for. Uh, the llamas would need an elevator, no stairs. Yeah, they probably wouldn't want to go up or down stairs. I don't, well, I don't know. Goats like stairs. They're always running around and jumping up and down stuff. They find ways to create stairs, honestly. Mm. Oh, that, that probably wouldn't go all the way through the door. Do llamas like stairs? Time to Google, right? <laughs> well, aren't llamas from mountains? I feel like alpacas are from mountains. I don't know why my brain feels like that, but that's... I feel... Like they come from mountains. How many people... Who, who will Google where... Where do llamas come from? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, like, I, like... I think of like mountain ranges um, in South America and Central America is like where I picture like wild llamas. Llamas in the wild. Dad, where do llamas come from? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> I like how my answer is just like, where are they in the wild? Because that's what I need to know. I don't know, this water stain looks weird. I don't know if it really looks like a water stain. Ew. I don't want it to be gross. I want it to be just old. Um, Bolivia, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Chile, and Argentina. Yeah. But, like, I guess the question is, so are they on, do they live in, like, mountainous areas there? Or do they live in, like, plains? Or, I just feel like because they're so floofy, you, you would expect them to be on mountains because their floof keeps them warm. Floof. <laughs> Oh, well. Hmm. Also, uh, T and Riri, thank you guys so much for the host. I'm sorry I didn't say anything before now. I just, my brain just did not register, but I appreciate you both very, very much. And also, I need to give a shout out to t -Bow. Sorry, I didn't do that already.
Um, they don't exist in the wild. But wait, where did they come from then? If llamas don't exist in the wild, like, did they ever exist in the wild? They were bred to be domestic. What were they... I have so many questions. <laughs> I just have so many questions, Tina. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just like. Okay, I feel like that's probably dirty enough up there. Like, bread, how, like, where, like, are they sheep? Are they sheep and giraffes? I, I just have a lot of questions. Llamas and alpacas are not known to exist in the wild state. Generic studies conducted determine they are descendant from guanacos and alpacas are from vicunas. Oh, okay. So they're, they're descendant from like extinct creatures? Because I don't know those creatures. Are those creatures not extinct? And that's crazy to think that 6,500 years ago, people started um, breeding these animals and like ever since then, alpacas and llamas have never been like wild animals, even though they are often kind of wild. South American member of the camel family interesting right pigs don't exist in the wild boars do that makes sense that's true i guess like like of most domesticated animals it's like mountain goats are technically you know technically have a little bit more to them but like in terms of they just have to play like they're you know they're in the mountains right like they're but they're still goats but even though Actually, I think mountain goats don't have as close relations to domesticated goats, but, um, and right, like wild horses. Interesting. Thank you for being my Google for me today. I appreciate it. Uh, we can have wild cattle and wild cats. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't like the spider webs. I, they just, they don't look right. <laughs> I do really like these trellises. Like, that's so pretty. What if this wall actually? Yeah, we're going to end up putting a lot of trellises. I really want to know if the children will climb them even if they don't go to a window. Like, do they just climb them for fun? Just to, like, see? <laughs> Inquiring minds. Mm -hmm. Um. All the pictures here look like they're in the plains and not in the mountains. Like, they didn't, they were like... Oh, people know what mountains look like. Let's show them the place they're not Googling information about. Obviously. I mean, that's the best... That's the best way. Um. Hmm. I like Lady Mimsy. I need a wall big enough for her giant picture, though. But for here, yeah. Mm. I wish that you could like assign. Uh, how do you like? Basically, like I want to assign a ghost to a commercial lot. Like I want I want a ghost to like 
have to live here. I guess I could put their urn here. Would that make them be here? Actually, no. Hard to hang things on round walls. Okay. Right. I think that's probably fine for up there. Mm. I'm gonna need a bunch of clutter. Hmm. Okay. I want this to be more like construction clutter, which I feel like is probably going to be more debug stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like these billboards. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I did want, like, I didn't want a bunch of grass in here, but I did want, like, a little bit. So I just thought that, that would make more sense. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think as time has gone on, like, as more, as, it's, as it becomes more and more easy to, like, have things show up higher on Google and stuff, like, it's becoming harder and harder to find, like, useful information on Google. Like, you have to sift through how many different pages of ads and sponsored posts. Oh, I like this. Like, using these little, like, stones to help make a path around inside. And I think that is very cute. Oh, it took you to Britannica! That's very good. Did you ever have the, um... The Encyclopedia Britannica video game as a kid. I, did. I don't think it was really a video game so much as, like, would you like to, like, look through all these pages of information about different, um, like, Encarta teapot. Yes. Oh my god. Was Encarta actually a game? <laughs> or was it just, like, because I remember I also played my mom's GRE prep, uh, like, software as a game for fun when I was a kid. So, like, I look back now, I'm like, that wasn't a game. Yeah, Encarta was not a game. It was just an encyclopedia. <laughs> and I was like, it's a game! <laughs> I thought that reading the encyclopedia was a game. I mean, no one had me tested or anything. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sometimes I, I look back and I wonder so many things. So, so many things. Oh, goodness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was really cool, though. I'm sad to hear that it's discontinued, actually, because, like, I was kind of hoping it was not and that it would be, like, on Steam, which I know is very silly since it's not a game, but in my head, it still kind of is. Um, I really like these stones. I don't think I've ever really used them before, but they're really nice. They look fancy, but they are not fancy. Uh, kids are anything they can get their hands on into a game. That's true. That is very true. Like, literally Tiny Totes likes to uh, turn getting dressed into a game, which in theory would be fun and good and smart, except for the game is, uh, haha, you can't get my pants on me, which is not a fun game <laughs> for me. <laughs> Probably unsurprisingly. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that's interesting. Why is that rock higher than this rug? Why would that be? Why, why can't there... Okay, well, fine. It's fine. It's fine. The Sims don't need to know or understand how, um, how rocks work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you have anything? I mean, I guess, Tiva, you also had Encarta and the Britannica Encyclopedia games. CD encyclopedias. Oh. Did you have anything else that, like, you were like, this is the best game ever, and it was like, like, books? <laughs> I wasn't that bad. I did have, I had a, like, little kiddo friend who I worked with who, um, his favorite thing to do on the tablet was to browse 3D tours of homes on real estate websites. And I was like, that's pretty cool, actually, because <laughs> he was showing me, like, going around this whole little home. And I was like, I get, I get it. Uh, flip art in Word Perfect game. <laughs> how do you, how do you win? How do you win that game, t <laughs> I love it. It sounds very good, honestly. <laughs> ah, it's this game that had two monkeys and you had to put in trajectories and velocities and they would throw explosive bananas at each other. Oh my gosh. I played, I, I think they brought it back recently, but I remember like back like playing when I was a kid playing Lemmings forever and just like watching these little Lemmings like just go. Um, adorable printable stuff you can print, um, having a printer. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. That's a great way to win a game. Played a lot with some, uh, sort of typing teaching game. Yes. Yeah, there's definitely, like, well, and I remember, like, I feel like my grade was one of the first grades to have a computer lab in elementary school, but, like, in third grade, we were taking, uh, keyboarding lessons, but it was, we were learning how to type, and then also, like, I think being a gamer, you just, you're, I'm, you type a lot, when, especially when you're playing a lot of online PC games, and so, being able to type fast becomes a necessity. <laughs> Okay. I like that. And... Mm, I do kind of want to add a few, like, teeny tiny little rocks. Just to, like, make it look a little bit different since... I think that The Sims does have, like, other rocks besides these ones, but these ones were together and easy. Um, we had computers in the lab in eighth grade, but that had only Oregon Trail and Car so much Carmen San Diego, so much, I don't remember if it was lemonade stand or hot dog stand, but like, I remember like for math class for hours, we would go and like basically play a like economy management game like Two Point Campus or Two Point Hospital or um, like Sim City and also a lot of Carmen San Diego, which was great because I'm obsessed with Carmen San Diego. How can you not be? Mm. But then, like, the games that I didn't play in school, but I played at home, like, the game with the car, like, you were a little blue car on the moon. Remember that? But I don't remember the name. That's the other thing. I don't remember the names of a lot of the games from back then. Hmm. 
I don't know why this grass is so big. Like, it doesn't need to start out that big. In what spot is the grass just placed at that size? Because it's, if so, it's bad. You should do it different. Um. Hmm. Because I also want to fill this little room with, like, rubble from the staircase kind of stuff. Like, we've got these, which are handy, to be fair. I could put, I could probably throw a lot of those down, but... And we got a lot of different sizes, which was nice. Okay. Thanks. You know, so it's interesting. Um, Tiny Totes got to go not, uh, to the doctor yesterday, which was needed. She was a little bit overdue for her five year checkup, and then we were able to get her her uh, COVID vaccine, which is really exciting, and um, that's been really fun. She's doing great. She like is a little sore, but besides that, she's feeling fantastic. But um, while we were there, you know, the doctor is just like, yeah, so how are we doing on screen time? And I was like, oh, I'm like, I know that it's too much. I know that it's too much. And she was like, yeah, we really want, you know, to try and limit her screen time to one to two hours a day. And I like, <laughs> Tiny Toast just looked at me and she was just like, we use the iPads at school. Like, like, she was just like, so bizarre that anyone would expect, like, I, like, I understand, but like, especially for like toddlers and stuff, but like, I, I don't know. I just, I, I was like, that's an interesting, and also probably very valid and true and probably the healthier thing to do and we're gonna work on it but still like wow <laughs> and i know like people complain about that stuff too right where they're like oh i can't believe that kids are playing on ipads at school and stuff and it's like but my generation at least grew up with utilizing the technology that we have available to us for learning um in ways that help us to learn differently right like i got good at math because of the hot dog stand game or whatever right like i don't remember a single lesson any math teacher ever told me i i can tell you right now i probably would not recognize a single math teacher i've ever had uh except for maybe one or two but i remember that game <laughs> um I mean, so like when I was growing up, my parents kept getting told by the doctor that all my issues were from reading too much, right? Like, sure, make sure she gets time away from it before sleeping and yeah, right. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I think that like there is definitely too much. And I know that like because of the pandemic and because of like my life stuff, like we have relied probably too heavily on screens and that's something that we're working on but it's just like do you know how many hours are in a day <laughs> like, 
<laughs> that's that's a lot of hours to fill. Um, I don't know. Um, I kind of like this because it's like rusty, and I don't feel like it would end up in the attic. So we can just like put these there. I think because right now, wait, wait, oh wait, close, no, look back down. So right now I have this room open. I think what I want to do instead is actually like, well, okay. What I want to do is have it have it like more of a glass door. That's like a newer door. So like you can look in and see the like the past of the old house kind of thing if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense in my brain so that's what i'm gonna try and do uh yeah too much of anything exactly moderation is key uh it's bad to do nothing but read inside and never get fresh air and it's bad to just go outside all the time and get no downtime indoors but but also it's just like it's one of those things where like putting particular expectations based on uh previous generations life experiences in studies it's just like you know the kids that are growing up right now are going to have a completely different relationship with technology than the kids who were born 10 years ago and so it's just like uh i i struggle with a lot of that stuff and so i try to keep it all like close at hand so I have it to help but I also um like don't have like no like the reality is is they want you to they want to say like you only have um you can only have one to two hours of screen time a day and if your kid is getting screen time at school well then really they shouldn't have any screen time at all when they're at home and then there's like this pressure being put on parents to fill all these gaps that used to be filled through school or like social groups and community spaces that since the pandemic have just been demolished and anyway <laughs> what do we think about llama i just i want a big glass door I appreciate that. And llamas are adorable. Very much so. I kind of like that. I feel like that, like, you can peer in and kind of take a peek. And then, I like, in theory, it could be a locked door that's locked for staff only. So that way someone can kind of dust a little in there. I don't know. I was like, what is this? It's a rock. Um. Okay. Back to the debug things. Man, this build by stuff from the high school pack, I am like just now really looking at it and I love it. It's so cute. Should we put a photo booth outside? I feel like we should. I feel like a llama cafe would have a photo booth available. Um. Uh, yeah, you can go. Hmm. Like, if I went to a llama cafe and they didn't have some kind of, like, easily accessible way for me to take photos of myself with backdrops of llamas, what are we even doing? Hmm. But yeah. A lot of the I didn't even realize I also didn't realize that some of the thrifted stuff was can you thrift build by items as well with the thrift store stuff or is it just clothes because like these things say that like they're thrifted but they might just be like the name of them I need I need people who've actually like been paying attention to what's been going on with the <laughs> new pack to tell me help me um 
just outfits. Okay, so the thrifted is just like they're calling it that because it fits well with the style. That makes sense. Uh, I just realized we probably don't want a bathroom, a public restroom to have that open of a window. I mean, probably need it to be even, <laughs> even more. For mm, safe today. I kind of like this. I feel like it's really weird though. It might be too weird. Hmm. Hmm. Big? No. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That is an interesting, an interesting curtain. Tiny totes would flip out. <gasps> oh, wait. Okay. I am very excited about the rainbow butterfly curtains. Tiny totes would flip. She would flip. Um, curtains on a round wall, a round wall window, real weird. I feel like these ones are particularly, particularly weird. Um, hmm. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be so weird. Let's see. Ooh, these are so cute. I would have freaked out to be able to have curtains like this when I was a teenager. Like when I was in high school, like that was like, that was my aesthetic. <laughs> Except for a little bit more like Raver Candy Kid, I think. Um. Mm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be this, but like, I also don't really understand why it's not like snapping lower on the wall with this window, right? The black ones with the little pastel butterflies. Just, but this is a llama cafe, so you know we're gonna have the rainbow curtains. Um, which now makes me feel like these might not be right. Maybe we could do pink for this space? That actually looks kind of cute. Um, what is happening with this curtain? <laughs> they need to be the same size. <laughs> oh, okay. That's great. I think that's pretty cute. I do, I am, I want a different sink, but I don't think I'm quite ready to deal with that yet. Should we add a thrift ca counter to our llama cafe? Should it be llama cafe slash thrift store? Is that too much? Is that too much for a llama cafe? I think it might be too much. It might be too much. I should. We don't need it. We don't need it. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, I do like the idea of being able to like. Still trying very hard not to block the llamas at all. Just like wanting to get a few more items in here so it feels less empty. Um, I said warm food didn't sound good. Wanted to be sure. Uh, that I was, what I was thinking before starting dinner. Right. Uh, welcome back, Lottie. Um, I do want pasta. I don't think I want spaghetti. I kind of want, I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, and also, we should give a shout out to Grumpy, who is now officially an affiliate. Woo woo! I kind of like this mirror. Maybe, well, maybe without all the stickers? For inside the uh, bathroom? Maybe. I'll put that there for right now. <laughs> Dry elbow macaroni. I mean, I need, I want, <laughs> I want macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I know that we don't have the stuff to make macaroni and cheese. But I think that's the problem. <laughs> Because that's what I want. Um, I wonder what's all in this hobby board box. Okay. So, oh, hobby board box. So, like, I'm guessing that one's the gamer one. Or are they all the same? Just different colors? Okay, all the same, just different colors. Interesting. Hmm. I was a teenage garbage artist. I mean, I do appreciate the puns and the funny joke. I'm not, hmm. This does look like a nice lamp. I'm gonna stick it upstairs in our little antique hoarding space. Um, which also might be like, oh yeah, we can like put like, oh wait, can I put these somewhere? I want to be able to place like floating clothes. <laughs> And I, I want them to stop telling me I have to put them on specific objects. Just let me place my floating cups. Um. Okay, but like, how do I place them? Mm -hmm. Uh, we have unicorn donuts. TT isn't helping with dinner ideas. That's what TT wants. She wants uh donuts. I really like this. I like the, like, what's the style they're going for? The deco style. I like that a lot for, like, imagining the people who sold this property. Like, I imagine, like, they were, like, in, like, the... I, I guess I'm imagining sort of 60s with the, some of the deco style, like, antique stuff. Um, interesting idea, but not for dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, weren't we going to, uh, or did, did I ask you, Grumpy, about making me jalapeno stuff with goat cheese? Was that a conversation that we have had? I like the idea of like trying to like get some of these like racks in here and stuff. I don't know if they'll be well I know they won't be used necessarily but just like setting the atmosphere. <laughs> uh, I want more of the clothes. Um Actually, can I change the swatch, please? Uh, that is something we talked about yesterday. Are you grumbling because you forgot that we had talked about it? And now you are happy that we have remembered, but grumbling because you have you had not started on the uh, things. Hmm. I don't know if that's too weird, like shoving that in like that. Um. <laughs> you don't want to, you just want to play Bioshock. Did you see that Lottie was playing Bioshock earlier, Grumpy? Lottie's also playing through Bioshock right now. Um, 
what is this? Deliberate and delightful clothing display. I don't think that's quite what I'm looking for. Um. No, I mean, if you don't want to, like, I we can figure out something else. That would be fine. I love this bed. This bed gives me Bioshock vibes. That's what I'm thinking of. That's probably why, because I was watching Lottie all morning playing Bioshock. That I've just been like, I've been, I've been drawn to this little Art Deco stuff, because this is like, this is very, very much Bioshock vibes. At least to me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but. Bioshock is on your brain hard. I honestly don't know how you're gonna get through this game. Barely have ammo. Honestly, like, that's why I was saying, like, the alarm sound, like, l haunted me my entire undergrad because I played so much Bioshock. It's it's a very good game. I'm glad that you are starting to play it. Uh, the Bioshock collection is on sale on Switch. That's so cool. Hmm. What if I put a coffin up here somewhere? That would be a good spot. It's just there, just in case you need it. You never know. You never know when you might need a coffin. Hmm. I like this trash or treasure chair. Mm. Um, you're pretty good at the hacking. You have not played it until now. It mostly just die a lot since the bodies don't regenerate. <laughs> That's one way to play it. It's one way to play it. Um, I'm currently looking at this and it feels like, oh, I see. This has a door, but it's not to the right spot. Uh, come here. This door needs to be mm, there. There we go. Now, in theory, they should be able to get around better up there. Um, let's see. Where do I want to put this chair? Because I like it so much. We can put this chair here. Uh, you don't die too much, but you are constantly screaming. It's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of screen. It's very good. I enjoy it immensely because it brings back many memories and much joy. Mm. I'm trying to like think if they were to have a rocking chair, what might it look like? I think maybe like this. And we'll put the rocking chair over by the coffin upstairs i guess that is a great place for it i also like kind of want the upstairs to be functional even though like the idea is that people don't go up there i like the idea that like the staff of the cafe like do or something <laughs> look at this hammock I love this. Where can I put this? Um. Also, which swatch? I like that one. I mean, I suppose it's uh, just a hammock. It can kind of just hang anywhere. Maybe we'll put it like over here. Oh well, maybe not like directly in the. There we go. Hammock, hey, hammock. Hey, That's very cute. I feel like the downstairs is like the cafe itself is kind of coming together. Mm. I kind of want to put Gaidri's favorite chair up here as well. Let's see.
What if I put this like... Do I have tool installed right now? No. Mm -hmm. That will be a job for another day. But for now, I will stack these chairs right here. Uh, you recently said the first couple times that you play through a game, it is on easy mode when it seems you like the game first. That's what I do. Um, I don't play through them again, though, on the higher modes. I just start on easy, and then sometimes I'll up it if it really is too easy, but generally it's not too easy because I'm actually not very good at video games. <laughs> I just like them a lot. Um, I feel like this needs to be one of the items, the sumptuous throne for everyday living. Grumpy, what are you doing behind me? What? What are you doing? Grumpy Cam. Getting the jalapenos? Uh, yeah. They look good. Okay. They look like jalapeno. They're big. I think, honestly, if you wanted to just make them like three. Okay. That's all I need. I'm gonna fire up the girls for three minutes of the I have told you multiple times you do not need to do this today. Pointing out that I love you, but I am doing this. It seems silly to me, and I have to fire up the girls. If it seems silly to you, then don't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really like this chair a lot. Um, do I have anything I can put this little lamp on yet? I wish you could put lamps on top of things. Put a desk up here, didn't I? Yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, maybe this room will be like the chair room. Where does the ladder come up? This room? So I, can't, like, I think that my idea would be that like this first little space here, these two rooms are going to be mainly storage from the cafe, and then everything else is like storage from the previous family, the previous owners. <laughs> Ooh, maybe eventually we'll need to make the previous owners. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, okay. I'm having, I'm having a little bit too much fun with like creating lore for this family. This family that doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> but they have some cool chairs. At least I think they're cool chairs. <laughs> but yeah, my mindset for Grumpy is that like you can't be mad about choosing to do something that I have said that you are not required to do or I am not like asking you to do. You can't get mad <laughs> or complain or think it's silly. You're doing something that you are choosing to do. I mean, you can, clearly. You can do that if you really want to, but I will, I will giggle at you. <laughs> there will be giggling. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is blocking. Wait, no, no, it's not blocking the door. Okay, for some reason I thought it was blocking the door. I got worried for a second. Okay. And so once I have tool, like some of these things that I'm like stacking this way, I'll actually like use tool to stack so they'll look cooler than they currently do. I mean, it's not bad, but not quite what I would want. But 
It will be good. Um, are there any cool couches? I guess. Why does this one look so weird in its like splotch? It's like to the side, like it's extra long or something. I guess it is Johnny's S sweet revenge sofa, so maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that has something to do with it. Hmm. Kind of like the idea for like outside. I'm really digging the wicker stuff right now. I think, okay, hang on. I think what I need to do is I just need to, in the same way I pulled out all the llama stuff when we first started, I think I just need to pull out all of the wicker things because I want to use the wicker things. Wicker. Um, I don't think I need any of the beds though, but I already have one of these, let me grab one. Hmm. See, I like this better than this one. And I think part of it is like, I don't really like the like full wicker, but like this, like, toss a coin to your wicker. Oh my gosh, I want, I've been like thinking about like replaying um, The Witcher, cause I haven't played it since I played through the first time. And it's just kind of like, mm -hmm. Could be hard. I do love that game very, very much. We shall see. I'm gonna put a few uh, garbage bins around because that's gonna be really necessary, <laughs> I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, besides, like, the couple of wicker things from the new pack. Interesting. Not as many cute things as I was hoping. Although I do really like these. Why don't you guys go here? Very good. I don't love the way but but like I wish I could make the shadows like not existent at least while I'm I guess I could turn off shadows but that requires going into settings which is not quite wrong. I kind of like this for and here what about was like hmm I like that with like the blues and the yellows. Mm. And that's okay. So that's it for wicker. What I wish that this would, I wish I could click on this and it would tell me like what it considers this style to be. So then I could like search for all the things that are that style. Like I can search for the stuff from that pack, but that's not what I want. <laughs> Okay. Um, so on. Hmm. I really like this coffee table a lot. I like that there's a lot of rainbow things. <laughs> there's a lot of rainbow things in the high school pack. More rainbow things than I think I've ever there. So do I want the rainbow table, rainbow coffee table, or like wicker coffee table? Honestly, wait, why not both? Why not both? I actually like that a lot. Um. I wonder if there's a swatch for this one that could match it a little bit better. I like that. That is very cute. Okay. Oh my god, I just blinded myself. 
with the llama words. So many llama words. I kind of want to add bookshelves for the cafe, but I'm nervous about the llamas. <laughs> like, I'm just a little nervous that the llamas might, um, eat stuff. <laughs> I do think that, like, the actual cafe itself is starting to feel plenty full now, though, that we've, like, added some of the decorations. There's a few- I feel like I still need some wall decor items. I think that's what I'm- oh god. I think that's what I'm missing, is I need, like, I need wall decor. Oh, I wonder if they have a llama, like, sign. Like, this one's fine. That's cute. Or whatever, but... Oh my god. Wait. Look at this! This is, like, perfect! Don't oh, come back. I bet... Oh, that makes sense, because they had it for the tea... the bubble tea shop, but... Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, but my llama's on. Um... Okay. We can, we can make this happen. Oh my god, why is it being weird? I know there's a llama there. I'm gonna move the llama. Hang on, gang. Let me try. Okay. Mmm. Trash bag. Okay, Ali. I hope you like your new your new spot. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I like. And I start like trying to like figure out how to make things like go the where I want them to, and I'm like my brain just starts getting like a little zony. Was that a grumpy that just walked out? Hello? Hello? I didn't see. Mm -hmm. And then if it's maybe like oh I kind of like this for a shape to the coffee area. Well is is it functional though? I don't know. It might not be. Mm. No, I'm not trying to grab the- I just want to grab the rug! Just let me pick it up, please! Please, please, please! Thank you! Mm, there we go. In which case, like, I feel like this table is in a weird spot. Hmm... 
I kind of want, actually, for the rainbow rug to be more for the employees. So maybe you can go there and then move some of these rocks around. Okay, that's a little bit better. It feels way more cramped in here now. Why is that? I did not add more logs. Um, what if I move you over here? Oh wait, there's an and there's a door over there, isn't there? Okay. What if instead you're like right? Well then how long are you gonna be outside if you're gonna be out there? Hmm. Hi Grumpy! Hello. Grumpy, Grumpy, Grumpy. That feels a little bit better. And then maybe instead I can move this here and move this guy over here. So he's still around, but just like not right in the center. I think it also is probably my little like rainbow circle area is kind of in the way. But it's so beautiful. Mm. I mean, I can also have it just go this way. Which isn't terrible. It's not the worst thing. Like, it's fine. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I guess that feels a lot less cramped, like if you were walking in. It still feels pretty dark. I don't... The lighting inside is just really interesting. Okay. Um, so I feel like this entryway feels better. I don't have a problem with that. I do, I don't love where the vending machine is. But I suppose now we probably can put it over here and have that be okay. So that's nice, at least. Can I move? Mm. I'd like this to like kind of go towards the vending machine. I guess it does a little bit. Okay. Um, that's still fine. I think part of the issue still is. Well, I think it's really just this bar. But if I if I have it this way, like I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is just. <laughs> maybe I should just have him like this. I'm gonna do it. I'm sure it's fine. Who is this? It's Albie. <laughs> Albie. Okay. I am... I'm liking it more and more. I, I am gonna need to come in with tool and like, I'll need to shrink this shed down a little bit more so this door is fully accessible. Um... I like this table. I think it there be a little bit better. No, I think I like it more like here. Because this is like the other entrance, right? Yes, go do more convention work. I'll see you later. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Today, I appreciate you so, so, so much. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Okay, we are getting into, what is this? Motley Miscellaneous Menagerie. A little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. This collection of assorted goods will certainly turn heads. Oh, is this from the thrift store? I think it, so this is like, like you could buy this, like buy the uh, thrifted 
thrifted style items from that, I bet. Maybe not. Maybe it's just an environment? Hmm. I'm not going to place it here, but a new thing. Um, I am going to place some brooms around. Because <laughs> we're going to need to do some kind of sweeping. I don't know how helpful the brooms will be, but... I'm sure it's better than nothing. <laughs> um, I know I have a paper towel dispenser in the bathroom, but I don't think I've got... Um, just like thinking like, where would I want to put this? I think I'm just going to put it in here for right now. So I'm like thinking about the stuff for the bathroom eventually, but I'm not entirely sure how I want the bathroom to be. I do like the idea of having something like this, like, organizer in here. I'm gonna put that there for right now. What is this? Four towel rack. Four towel rack, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, here's soap at least, or at least, like, we can pretend like it's soap anyway. I like this color. Okay. I'm sorry. I bought mac and cheese that was supposed to go in the freezer, but I didn't know it was supposed to go in the freezer. And I think Grumpy just discovered it and we bought it like four days ago. Anyway, I'm gonna put this laundry kit upstairs. <laughs> um, okay, not, well, no, I don't think, I think, I don't think that this would belong to the current owners. This would be for like the previous owners to have. So maybe they wouldn't have this one because it's kind of, I don't know, that looks pretty nice. Maybe just, we can put that in that room, I guess. There, why not? Um. What do you get? Electrical box for displaying posters. Posters. Get your posters. Uh, box O junk. That is perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for, actually. How did you know? Let's see. Um, here's some more like rubble rock type things we can use for our uh Oh, I don't want them to be like harvestable things. No, never mind. It's not what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. A message in a bottle, a scandalous invitation? What if we just like set that? Okay. Message in a bottle, an imminent warning. Oh no. I didn't play with much with any of like the message in the bottle stuff from the wedding game stories or the wedding stories pack. I don't think I ever even saw anything about it. Hmm. Can of snails. Mm. Oh, the factory rubbing is going to be very helpful as well. That's actually... Oh, I didn't even realize it had different swatches, too. And so for another swatch. Okay. That little weird room is coming together. 
Yeah, a lot of weird liberties, actually. <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, oh, we got some crates. Crates can probably go upstairs. Oh, they're big. Um, maybe we'll put... Where is the doorways? Okay. Big crates. And probably put these shrines down a little bit. Oh, and of course your shadows are weird. Of course. Mm -hmm. Um, I do want to put lockers in sort of like a staffy type area, like an area for staff. Maybe just like mm. these are like thick lockers. Okay, is that like fully through the wall? Yeah. I mean. In theory, there can't be more than three staff, right? For a cafe? Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna be here, like little teal colors for sure. We need them to be teal. Yeah, I think we're just lacking a lot of lighting. I'm still not quite sure how to make that better. <laughs> hmm. I suppose one thing we could do would be to like put like a actually I mean we could do like a frosted glass thing here um just as like a help for our staff to have like a little bit of privacy maybe maybe just a little bit um and I mean I don't know how helpful it will really be, but maybe. Oh my god. I just wanted to like move this slightly. Like, it is so dark over here. I feel like... Mm, it's not so bad at night time, I guess. It's just, like, weirdly lit in the afternoon and evening, I guess. I guess that's fine. Sure, it'll be fine. Let's see. I do like these boxes for like the right upstairs, like as belonging to the new owners kind of thing. And maybe we could put some like books up here and pretend that they're like, oh yeah, we bought all these books about how to raise llamas, but now we can do it. Or something, I don't know. Um, I don't think we're quite at this stage of having barrels, but I do like having 
a lot of different crates and things. This is a huge crate. Who is this for? Whose house is this for? Who is building with that big of a crate? I don't... <laughs> I love this item so, so much. Um, where can this live? We could do, actually, something where it's, like, almost, like, here. And I can come in with tools, like, make that look a little bit better later once I get tool installed again. But I kind of like that, like, as a way to give a little bit more space. And then it also makes me feel like we could actually probably do a few more of these chairs here in a way that could maybe be cute. Okay. I mean, our llama's gonna spit on you? Probably. But are you gonna have fun? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do a white cushion. That's just asking, asking for llama spit everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Um, oh, and I was also searching for a lot of debug stuff for a while. What else do we have? What else do we have? Mm -hmm. I do kind of like the idea of like... I mean, because it's... They, they need to have some kind of way to transport the... Uh, llamas, right? So like in the truck. Maybe we'll find a trailer while we're looking. Mm. Hi again. Yay! Thank you. That's perfect timing. It means it's time for me to take a quick break to eat some dinner. Because I'm very, very hungry. And so um, I'm actually going to put on words on stream. It's going to probably be like 20 minutes for me to eat. My delicious goat cheese stuffed jalapenos that Grumpy made me. Look how yummy. Yum, yum, yum. And so um, we'll do a quick BRB screen and then we come back. We'll do some words on stream while I eat. And then we'll come back for some more building of our Llama Cafe. Llama Cafe. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> BRB. Like, Nan's already back there. Oh my God. Okay, well, uh, so Nana's, so this is how it currently is, right? You just go into a big machine. Yeah. You can be in an existing save, you think? Oh, I thought that you couldn't. I think, I thought you had to start a new save every time you did a new scenario. Um, medical intern? Why is he T-posing? Oh my god. How are you doing? I hope you're story. having a very good day. After a while. I was saying hi to somebody, and um, while I was sitting here, it just yeeted a cup off the table. It's a it wear contacts or anything, so it'll be fine. Ooh, ooh. Are you gonna try and oh? You gonna try to eat my shirt? <laughs> Mickey's just like this knee, this thigh. This is mine. I shall rub my head on it. Are you proud? He's like, no, I'm not done. <laughs> I love how like all three of the adult boys are like, we're here for the pets. The babies like come to investigate and they're like, mm, we're good. We're going back into the barn. Stuff in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. It is Santa. 
Why is it Santa? No, scary Santa. Why? Wait, do I have my camera? Santa's not me, Santa. Oh, I didn't sing it. He was like... He was I got like, a picture of a ghost. Man. can be dehydrated but chefs shouldn't be dj Shu sue chef it, her name is sue chef have i been playing for an hour and a half and just now realized the pun of course that's true of course it took me that long maybe Criminal mastermind, because I actually am. And why about my There's just a naked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Excuse me. Um, Knox. Knox Greenberg. Explain. Explain. Just. Just go. Oh, I get the blanket back. Oh, thank you.
also appreciate that the blood is uh, not blood it is uh beautiful hello and welcome back let me just uh close out of this there we go i feel like that last one was um unacceptable <laughs> like what was going on there why why could my brain not work like my brain just like could not even kind of sort of un like think of words besides donkey and then all i could think of was donkey from shrek and then my brain just went in all kinds of directions uh yep <laughs> but you all had very good brains very good very big brains um so i'm very proud and that was very good. Thank you, Grumpy, for my jalapeno poppers. I have uh, one jalapeno total left, so I'll munch on that probably a little bit later too, but thank you, that hit the spot. Hit the spot. I like this tree. Um, does this tree work in this world? It's definitely... It would be kind of the only kind like it, so maybe not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the tree fits nowhere, you know? Sometimes you just gotta try a little bit. Uh, that grass is a little bit too big, but okay. Just make it, make it small. Make it small. Grumpy, what did you have for dinner? Mm. Mm, this is cute. Hmm. Skyrim, what are you doing? Like, tell me about your character. I don't think I've actually watched you do any of your Skyrim gameplay, and so I would love to hear. Friends, please, please, please go check out Dominga. She is such a sweet bean. Also, one of my favorite people who do some very fun things in their life with goats, even if it's not on stream, but fellow goat owner. And so therefore... Someday I will convince her to come join the, it's not a cult, it's just a community of homesteaders, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Skyrim with crowd control, trying to focus on main quest stuff and failing. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine what that would look like. I will have to check the VOD later. That sounds like a trip, <laughs> but I love that. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, not cults. No, no, just communities. Homesteading communities. That's the phrase that I was, was told to use by a friend. And friends, if you don't know me, you can call me totes. My pronouns are she and I'm pretty sure they and maybe more. Not sure yet, but that's where we are today. And I'm a variety streamer, so you'll see we've got our goats on our goat cam down below me there. That's Tammy looking around. Uh, she is also our namesake for our Tammy the Mama Goat bot. So, uh, I love her. She was my first ever goat, and she will just always have my heart, even though she is absolutely a Tammy. Uh, we also play a lot of Sims. Right now I'm working on my shell challenge. So this is my submission. It is a llama cafe. Um, I'm very, very excited about it. 
And friends, one thing we always say when we have new friends come in is just to let you know the kind of space that you're walking into is one that says loudly and regularly, Black Lives Matter. We are on indigenous land. Science is real. Abolition is possible. Women's rights and trans rights are human rights. Love is love. Boundaries are necessary. Your identity is valid. And friends, you are worthy of love and respect. And if that's the kind of space that you want to help us cultivate, welcome in. And Dominka, if you need to move into lurk mode, into de-stream time, if you need to take care of your body, take care of the goats, the animals, the family, please, please, please take care of yourself. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for sharing your community with me. And I'm going to do one more little shout out because I love you. And let's get back into trying to remember what I was doing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I do. I can focus. Maybe. Not usually this late in the day, though. Uh -huh. Just followed Diamond in the Rough Skyrim player. That isn't questionable. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm... I'm having fun with it. I like have created all of this lore around our llama cafe, so. <laughs> Basically, the idea is that it's an old like estate home. I got the inspiration from some friends, but the flooring did something terrible. I don't know, like went out, the stairs broke down. So now the floor in the main area is dirt. So the family can't live there anymore. Hasn't for a long time. So new people bought it, turned it into the Llama Cafe. So the downstairs area has seating and our little like espresso stand area. And don't, uh, what was this called? Don't Wake the Llama, which is a weird name for a Jenga game, but llamas. And <laughs> And so then, like, this is where the stairs to go upstairs used to be, and so now they've just installed a ladder and turned it into the attic where all the storage from the old family is. And so... Yeah, it's been fun. I don't normally do this much, like, lore building when I'm doing Sims building stuff, and so it's, like... I don't know. Just bringing me some joy today some serotonin which i'm very much in need of so i think what i want to kind of do is use these as like app indicators so i think that will help me to shape a lot and i have a feeling that if i can i eyedropper these no so i need to choose them now otherwise they i cannot i will not be able to get to find them again that is not how my how my kind of gameplay works i tend to find like things that i want to use and that i can never find them again when i want to find them okay i do i do like that i don't know why i can always delete it later I can always re remove things. It's harder to find them through the debug mess. Can be totally fair, let's see. This is cute. But I like our llama fountain better. Because it has llamas on it. Are these like regular size crates? Okay, perfect. He's upstairs. I was like, some of the crates are so incredibly giant that like, even if you shrink them down, they just look out of control. Um, okay. We could probably put you guys like there, maybe? And then Okay. I don't quite know how this chair ended up in this space, but I'm gonna leave it. 
Yeah, I don't remember how that happened, but that's fine. Um, oh, I like this. It still makes me laugh that I have to go through so much work to place llamas on a community lot, and yet, freaking, I could just pick up a baby from, from the inventory and stick it in the world. Like, mm. yeah, that's totally fine. Hmm. Do we already have a Dalai Lama somewhere? Yes, we do. Wait, that's. A llama corn talking toy. That is not the same as whatever this is. Oh, where is it? Oh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't see it. it. Makes me feel nervous. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's just fine. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Mm. Like, I keep wondering, like, should we put up, like, a book display in the cafe? Like, in, like, cafes have those. Maybe if we did... Well, like, okay. I liked the idea of this shelf, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't like it as much. Sim says no animal cruelty, <laughs> not no baby cruelty. Fair, fair. I think I don't like that. Grumpy! You bring me a soda? Yep. You're so nice. I know. Thank you. Grumpy, Grumpy. I'll give you a shout out. Grumpy, Grumpy, Grumpy. Brown beef, brown beef. <laughs> hmm. Um. Okay, I want to put these things. Here. Where do I want to put that? <laughs> like maybe. I mean, we could put them like on this wall. So maybe if I put a few of these things down, I can I'll be able to. A shelf there, and remember. But now I'm too deep into the debug. If I if I step back now, then I'll I'll lose my spot. <laughs> oh, and there's just too many things, really. Yeah, and it's funny too because I can't even pick up the llamas. Like I can't pick up Tifao and move her around, even though I could pick up. Like a baby, but I couldn't pick up a sim. It's just crazy. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. Let me get that fixed. Back over to Sims. Thank you. I know sometimes I forget, especially for like a short switch like that. Let's see. I wish I could change the color swatch of this. Because if I shrank it down and we like had added it to like a part of the house, it would look as though like there was part of the house that had been destroyed. But unfortunately, I just feel like it doesn't look. Very good. Isn't it very good? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Hmm. 
I don't know what this plant is, but I like it. I said I wanted like one like tall grassy spot. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just makes me giggle. I'm just like, mm. just a little grass creeping in. <laughs> Let's see. What can we find? Mm. Yeah, I don't feel like stone walls and stuff really fit quite right. I like the flowers. brain gets sucked into the land of debug and you just think about every single item that has been created for this game both like by the company that makes the game but also by like content creators and... so many things Monkey Brown on the Monkey Bars. Princess Plumbob's Castle. Cute. I don't want to do like a ton of books. I don't want it to be like pretend bookstore cafe. More just like when you go to like a small coffee shop, they'll usually have like sort of like gift item books. Stuff. And then all the Brindleton Bay stuff. We can put all of the blank animals down. This thing is like a crab pot, right? Like a red thing to catch crabs in? I don't know. I have never been a crab catcher. Um, there's so many cute things though, like all of the harbor and bay stuff. I've never like really utilized that in builds before. That might be a fun build at some point. Is to like really do like rather than the Brindleton Bay where it's like mm, kind of like Sea Town vibes, like really go like build like a harbor something. I don't know what it would be though. It'd be cool if we had boats. I guess we do have boats. I could maybe I could build a marina. That would be fun, except for I just know that Sims would come and steal all my boats because that's what they do because they don't understand um, how property works. I really like this too, but this is not what I'm needing right now. I shouldn't add skeletons upstairs. That's we, that's not necessary. <laughs> I don't need to do that. Even though I want to. Even though it sounds really, really fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the original owners never left. Dun, dun, dun. That'd be, I mean, that'd be scary. I want to 
Okay, so this is, I'm gonna put this here. This is something I'm gonna hopefully fix with tool to lift it up and put it on the wall the same with this shovel. I'm gonna need those. <laughs> um, because this is gonna be a cafe that's gonna have a lot of poop. I'm not gonna put poop in it, but like in the reality, like that is, that is a problem that a cat cafe per se like wouldn't have because the cats just go to their litter boxes which are not in the space where they are being pet by customers and so what do you do with a llama who can't be litter trained you can't teach the llamas to go into their sheds to go so and also their sheds are tiny and i don't know if my sims can clean them that will have to be another test I just realized that might be a problem. That might be a small, tiny, super small problem. <laughs> um, let's see. And I really like like these kinds of signs too. That's they're big. That's too big. Hmm. <laughs> maybe doing like building like a marina with a bar like a I guess maybe it would be like a marine like a marina club building with the marina which could be kind of cool I don't think I've ever built anything like that before mm. Maybe like, well, should, do we need to put, I'm not gonna put like, I'm not gonna make it have like pipes and stuff. At least not like throughout the whole house. I like the idea of they tried to keep the original toilet just because it makes me laugh, but. I'm just like looking at some of the stuff from like Strangerville debug and I'm just like, mm, maybe, mm, no. <laughs> And then continuing to keep moving. What is this? It's just dirt. Suspicious. Hmm. The floating urn is really funny to me. <laughs> like I. There's just got to be a better way. Hmm. Do we want to put a cemetery in? I mean, to be fair, my sims are lugging around a bunch of tombstones right now. It might be worth having a cemetery in the back if it is this, like, old estate. Place. Uh, well, well, maybe I can't. What happens? They disappear. What happens if we go to play mode? They're not there. Well, I left debug, or at least that particular search, which was a mistake. There might be tombstones over there. I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. <laughs> um, um, I was going to... I can't do the, like the tool stuff yet because I still have to um, update my mods, but I was going to look for a wall shelf for this side over here. Mm-hmm. For this one. Okay, so. Is 
surfaces. Wash up. Mm. Man, I do really like these like vintage decorative shelves. Put this upstairs. I already have this up here somewhere. Mm, maybe. Um, let's put this in the bedroom room. Okay. Not too bad. I don't know if I really would call that a. I put on displays, I guess. Okay. I guess because this looks like a wall shelf in my brain, I feel like it should be wall shelves, but it's all displays. Which is fine. But I was going to make wall display for books. Which was going to be here. <laughs> okay. I mean, these are kind of cute. Are they kind of like the... Yeah. Man, Sims is really into the... Like, snapping... Pieces. <laughs> like... Maybe we could do that in a few spots. Llama. <laughs> mm. Or maybe just leave it. I don't want. I like. I just am afraid of this space feeling too cramped because it's not a huge space. And so I think I'm just gonna leave it for right now. But we got those books up onto show, which is very good. I feel like, okay, let's do a little, a little bit of a play testy. I'm going to save. Friends, if you are doing something that requires saving, now is an extra reminder to please save your game, your work, your rock opera, whatever it might be. Also, if you are working on a rock opera, please share it with me because I would love to uh hear it slash see it slash be part of it and support you in it <laughs> okay let's can we come and be tifa Panka. baldroga um i guess i'm i'm ordering a drink uh <laughs> Okay, can we go here? Can you talk to... Uh, why don't you pet Seafowl? Just give her a nice little pat. Seafowl, please don't kill me. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> can llamas kill people? I can't remember. I know rabbits can. Llamas can't, right? <laughs> Oh, yay! So cute. Okay. Is this Raven right here? Raven. I'll give you a fee. Okay. And then I'll be over here strutting around. Um, let's see if Albi will let us give him a bet. It looks like he's trying to order coffee! <laughs> he's just like, excuse me, excuse me, 
I'm here. I'm ready. Coffee, please. I'm running. I'll take your order, Albie, any day. Uh, oh my god. Spice Festival. Thanks. Oh, so cute. Uh, I'm also going to, to feed Alvi. That's very important, even though I guess, well, Abby's full. So Alvi does not need to be fed. And then let's go and give Amethyst some food. And we can clean Amethyst. I guess Amethyst is dirty. Let me just give her a quick little. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Okay. Um, so the llamas are all functional. It's clear the coffee is functional. Can we go upstairs? <laughs> I'm just like curious, like how, like what, can, like what is possible with this space up here? She will go to the bed to the bedroom upstairs. That's okay. Can we? Can you sleep in there instead? Yeah, okay. Can you do a rocking rock rock in the chair? No? Is it because you need to pee or because you actually can't? I think it's maybe that you can't. I love that she's in her pajamas at the, the llama cafe. He's just very good. Okay. I'm actually pretty impressed that that stuff upstairs, like, functions. Because I also... I'm a cheater, and I like to have community lots that are functional for when I'm doing legacy challenges, and I am bad at them, and I need some place for my sim to shower because they're really stinky. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think, like, how I best want to, like... Oh my god, they're so messy. Who's sleeping? Oh, one of the llamas is sleeping inside there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It looks like a bunch of them. Oh, because it's nighttime. It's, I keep forgetting that it's like actually nighttime for the game. Okay. Yeah. Um. I just like I hate when things like are secretly going through walls and I was not anticipating them doing that. Okay, I am I like most of these spaces. I think What else can we put in the cafe? I guess we could put some stuff on the shelves. So we could do a little bit of clutter. Which would be fun. I do like Clutter. Maybe a few more shelves. Because I feel like the shelves make it easier for me to add clutter without making it mm, un uncomfortably cozy. <laughs> um, brain surfaces. Okay. Hmm. I kind of feel like maybe we should put the leash wrangler in because like with that many llamas like you probably would need to pull out a, a leash from from now and again from time to time 
and so that could be kind of cute. Which makes me wonder, can I, what are these swatches for this? Hmm. Interesting. Those are very cute. Oh my gosh, I love that the most. Okay, well. <laughs> I wish this had a similar swatch, but it's just like, I mean, it's fine. Also, the leashes are very big, and I guess llamas are bigger than the dogs usually are in the game, but still. But still. That's not totally the point. Mm. I kind of like the idea of a pegboard, especially if we're like... Imagine that maybe there's llama tools, like brushes and things. Hmm... I was like looking at the garden one, but it's from Cottage Living, and I'm trying to avoid Cottage Living because it'd be too easy. It'd be too easy. Oh, this is really cute. A little scrapbook shelf with the dog picture. Mm. Yeah. I mean, of all the, like, possible display things, I don't know if there are many others that I've, I'm super drawn to right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's look at some flutter effects. I would like to look at the clutter. Oh, and there's new clutter, too. But it's probably not going to be quite the kind of clutter we need. Um, since I don't really need a I don't really want a pile of laundry in my llama cafe. I mean, you know, Lark is standing there yelling. Just why i'm not sure but she's oh it's oh because it's 7 30. that's why because we're in the last hour before it is uh dinner and bedtime for the goats that's why she's yelling <laughs> because she knows because she knows why do these garden stones look so weird oh. um okay walls down adding more stacks of things for upstairs trying to make sure i don't trap my sim up here probably would be a good idea but you know sometimes you don't mean to and your sims just don't listen when you tell them where to go. <laughs> There's only so much you can do. Oh. Okay. Focusing on downstairs shelves. Hmm. I do like the idea of putting, like, some kinds of... Put some like, pencils here, or maybe on this table. Why can't I put pencils on this table? I can put pencils up here, but I can't put them on this table. I don't understand. Mm, okay, well then I'll put them over here. Fine then. <laughs> hmm. Like, would it be nice to have like a little like bussing table area somewhere in here? Probably, but like where <laughs> is kind of the problem. Mm, yeah, it's not quite what what we need. Let's see. 
Oh, I am definitely going to put a crystal ball upstairs, though, in our spooky, not at all haunted, what she call it, attic. Yeah, honey. It's for you. Oh, I love this. Thank you. Oh, okay, you don't have clothes on because you've been painting, so you get to stand over there and I'll show everybody. Look at this. Mom, can you tidy because it's a necklace for you? Oh, I don't think this string is quite long enough for it to be a full necklace. So I'm going to have you take it and have it go sit and dry and we can deal with the uh, tying of things later, okay? Thank you, I love it. My, my artist child. I feel her and I relate so much because neither of us can stop creating. <laughs> oh, I just keep making more things. And so she's got piles of stuff. Um, and like, she's been making, using yarn that she has, uh, found? It's mine, but she's been using yarn to basically, like, hang her paintings all over the entire house. Oh, and now I have paint on me. <laughs> oh, um, mm -hmm. Do I want to put a loom here? I don't think so. I don't think it quite fits. I don't think it's quite right. Mm. I do have these things. And I put this on this table. Why does this table look like you put stuff on it? Uh. Ooh, very nice. Okay, go take it inside so it can dry. All right, honey, thank you. I can't wait to wear it when it's dry. Mmm. Cool. I love that. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, no. Did I put that llama there? I must have, I guess. Here. Let's put you We can put a a, a lot of there. Yeah. And then I think we need some smaller items for the other shelves. quite know what to do with llama mama yet i mean it, it will have a home i just don't know where that home is going to be quite at this moment is that too much uh a llama fountain with an ice llama sculpture on top. This ice sculpture honestly looks like it's uh it is an ice sculpture isn't it? Because it looks like it's just see through. I can't, why am I not seeing where I'm finding them? Here. Let the regal rough hewn profile of the winged llama preside over your daily activities. A must have for all Hamlet lovers. Oh, we were talking about how they're descendants of Campbell's earlier. Interesting, interesting. So it's not necessarily that it's ice. I just don't know what it's made of. It's fine. I'm just 
we're gonna back away from it. Leave it there for now. Mm. What is that? Oh, this is the scary llama. The scary llama's gonna go upstairs. Um, probably in a window, actually. Let's see. I wonder if you can still sleep in the, uh, okay, I'm gonna need to, like, put a window sill in. That's a lot of work just to put a scary dragon in the window. Mm. Hmm. so much for that lyric. I appreciate it a lot. It's a lurky kind of day. It's late. It's This is like late for me for for sim being, especially for sim building, but I'm just like trying to find little places to put things like these little tiny llama pieces. Where did they go? Little llamas. Look at this guy. Who is this? Am I one? Am I can't I know. Oh! It's one of the Brindleton Bay guys, isn't it? Or is he one of the new people? I can't, I can't click on him. I can't find his name. It makes me very sad. Okay, little tiny llama. Can you fit? Um... See, what does fit? in these little shelves. Does anything actually fit or are they just a lie? Because <laughs> they feel like a lie to me. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome back, Kirsten. I hope everything was going good. I'm still, like, I want to put some things in these shelves, but I'm not finding things that are actually fitting in the shelves. Is my current, uh, battle. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This is very cute. This artist supply tab like thing i want to maybe my lower those what if we put these upstairs somewhere i don't think i'm gonna put a well i suppose we could put a chair with this desk over here i suppose we can mm -hmm. noisy. I wonder who it is as being the noisiest because there's someone who's like knocking on my wall a little bit. The only one, only girl I don't see right now 
I think is Lark. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Okay, Lark. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, she's going over there and saying hi to you, too. Are you still working on that PowerPoint stuff, Grumpy? Were you able to get it done, or are you still plugging away? Mm. Yay, I'm glad you got it done. Yay! Welcome to the barn, Kirsten. Thanks for trying, for trying out the little introduction thing. I appreciate that uh, Twitch gives us an opportunity to do that because I know for me, like whenever I'm like watching a new streamer that I don't know, sometimes I feel awkward like when I first want to talk because like I tend to watch a lot of smaller streamers <laughs> and so it's like, I don't know, you always just kind of feel, I mean, that's probably just me, it's probably a me thing, but I feel awkward <laughs> and so I'm grateful. The issue with the profanity filter. What is the issue? Bye, Kirsten. I hope you have a great night or day, whatever it might be for you. Let's see. I would love a chair that looks just like this that goes with this desk over here. I think that'd be so fun. <laughs> you also have sight stream on and the profanity filter turn on and you can't find to turn it off. Hmm. I, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Grumpy. I need a chair. I'm not able to find the one I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think this like goes with to a desk now. Hmm. I mean, some of these chairs aren't too bad. Well, I guess we do have, didn't I have? Yeah, I have these chairs. And I am sure that they must match because they're from the same pack and everything. And yay! Okay. At least we have some matching swatches. That's nice. That helps my brain. Um, okay. I'm really liking that a lot. Oh, where'd it go? Hello, come back. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, the gravestones are there now. But they weren't before. I'm sure it's fine and totally not haunted or scary, and I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to worry. Did I place three? I'm sure. I'm sure I did. What else? Would we want in our cafe? I suppose, like, I probably could start working on, or at least, like, making the bathroom a little bit nicer. It's not that it's not nice, but it's not really finished yet. I really like these curtains, but I just, I'm not sure if they are working the way that they should be. Um, 
Are they gonna be poking out through Potato Games went offline? <laughs> Are they gonna be poking out through the wall? No. But you can absolutely peep on somebody pooping. Like that is like the worst possible placement. I could <laughs> Oh um yeah, we'll just leave that <laughs> with the overlap. That way you know for sure you're covered. <laughs> that no one can see. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> um, okay. I wanted, I did want to look at some of the other sinks. I don't, so I'm not 100% sold on this sink. I'm going to set it over here for a second. And let's see if there's maybe a sink that's like a slightly better fit. Um... Because, like, what would the equivalent of this sink be? Because, like, that's a vampire toilet? I mean, this is very... This looks actually... Like, we could maybe say it's original. That's very pretty. It means we need a different mirror. Are there pretty... <laughs> are there pretty toilets in the new high school pack too? I've just, I've just been missing out on the new high school pack stuff. Mm, I don't see any pretty toilet. So I think I'm going to stick with this one as our pretty toilet for now. Um, I think what I'll do is can have this go maybe like right here. And then fix our soap just so that way it's not too out of the way. Um and then I don't know if you can hear the train, but I get it. it was just very loud for a second. I was like, oh, hello, train. I was not expecting you. Okay, yeah, I like this sink better. I feel like that. I'm also wondering. Hang on one second. I'm just like, what is that noise? I don't think you can, it's picking up on the microphone at all, but it's like, I think it's the combination of the train and like neighbor dogs from further off. And I was like, oh, that thing. Oh, but I was just gonna say like, do I, we want to go more with like a, I kind of like that, especially if we were like trying to say and claim that this is the original plumbing stuff from the original home. Um, I think as far as bathroom wise, Potato Guns just resubscribed for seven months. Can we name our baby Tiny Potat? You woo, I love you, totes. Tiny Potat, uh, potato. I have something to show you. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be off. Like I'm gonna BRB for one minute to go get a thing. Ah, uh, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Won't alert the mamas. Because then they will try to get you to come. Well, they can't really do much of anything, but. Oh, 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 oh. oh! Darling! Um, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am? What are you doing? No. Um, it's not lit. So maybe we should light it. No? Okay. Oh my god. Schnurs! <laughs> I don't know why! 
I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it's true. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, I uh, got a gift from someone through throne exclamation point throne and i'm so excited to open said gift i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and tiny totes has been very impatient with me as she continues to like look at it and say mom what is that and can i open it and i tell her no <laughs> But I'm very, very excited. Bum, 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 bum. Why am I bad at opening things, though? It's the real question. But Potato, how are you today, my love? What are you up to? What did you do for your Thursday? How did you take care of yourself today? You know, I ask that question of folks a lot. And a, a friend asked that of me the other day and I was just like oh why are you asking me these things you're a bit dizzy you worked and ate food oh my goodness I'm glad that you ate some food I hope that the dizziness is better very soon and is no longer there I don't like the I don't like feeling dizzy it makes me feel yeah. but I have a hard time feel like if I'm like dizzy from anything really like if I have some kind of vertigo and I just like okay Ready? Ready, ready. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Ciao! So, this is a little goat friend that gets to go into the ground. Or maybe I might, ha I might have to have them be closer to me. Because look how cute they are. They have such a good beard. Look at their cute beard. I might have to. One of the things I want to work on in the coming weeks is, like, reorganizing some of my stream space a little bit and so I um one of the things is that like I have these really cute shelves that are like canvas shelves and I have all my like um random figurines and little stuff that I like that would be fun for people to be able to see and this would be something I want to be able to be seen thank you so much potato I love it me <laughs> Uh, of Ms. Marvel, yes, except for um, Tiny Totes did steal one of my Ms. Marvel pop, uh, Funko Pops because she said you that I have two, and so she needs one, which I understand, and so she stole it from me. <laughs> I'm gonna put you, but that's why, like, it's always like, I'm like, I always like to be able to have stuff, but Tiny Totes, Tiny Totes is often you know, very convincing because I teach her about sharing all the time. And so, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so at some point we'll get everything so you can kind of see more of those cute things, but thank you. Um, okay. Now, since building, trying to finish the bathroom, would you put a rug in a commercial lot bathroom? I am torn. I'm torn. Because, I mean, Lottie just says no. I mean, but doesn't it need a rug? Like what? Doesn't this bathroom need a rug? Don't you want there to be a rug here, Lottie? <laughs> there is a rug inside the llama cafe on the dirt floor. <laughs> Oh, 
yeah, no, potato, it does not come across as the icky parent this way kind of thing. I love all kinds of like new techniques and new tools, and so I'd love to hear about it. Um, looking at the goats. I'm looking at the time, and I'm wondering if we wouldn't want to switch over and do nighttime with the goat. I am not sure. I'm even going to think about it while I continue staring at this bathroom. Uh, really good for emotional regulation. It was hard little humans to calm down and take deep breaths, and some of them like to do unicorn breaths. So they inhale and they say unicorn after. And the idea is that unicorn is a longer word, so it encourages a deeper exhale. I love that. Tiny will be especially interested in that because she loves unicorn. All right. Lottie has told me I cannot put a rug in the bathroom. What about like a grate? What about a deep hole that people poop in, Lottie? Like, what would, what would that? Could I do that? <laughs> Um, trying to think. Cause I, this feels, it feels naked. <laughs> it needs something. I don't know what. Um. What if instead we... like had one of the cement squares be a different stain i don't want all of those ones i just want this one right. that's a little bit better be the ultimate lava cafe put your rock um Works well with dinosaur, race car ballerina. Yeah, I mean, really, like, most things that kids like are pretty, uh, like, multiple syllables, right? Like, that's very cool. I love that. Okay, I don't want this whole square. God. I think that the... The rounded walls might be the death of me. Like, I know I did it to myself, but I regret it. I regret it a lot. Um, no. Mm. I don't think I like that. Uh, I came up with it on the spot a few weeks into work and it really works well with some of them. I bet. Like, I can imagine it being really helpful. Okay. So, not that. Maybe a rug. Maybe, like, not a real rug, but just something to, like, like, we could do, like, a metal grate. Which feels very upsetting for so many reasons. Um, mainly the mysterious tombstones. <laughs> Emotional relation is very key. It's something I want to work on for you, too. Yeah, definitely. There are rugs that aren't like real rugs though, right? Like there's the, like, I'm thinking of like the, the mosaic floors. So they're not like actually rugs, but they're like, I think this is kind of one of them where it's more of like something painted on the ground. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, this actually might be perfect. Yay! Uh, oh, also totes 13 days until I see you again. Is it really 13 days? Um, Potato is a very calming person. That is true. Potato's affirmations are like my favorite affirmations. They always make me go, mm. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. I don't know... 
want to do a little you want to do a little affirmation jar that's so cute Oh my gosh, 13 days until your flight egg. Amazing. I can't wait to see you. You have your moments where you need to work on your patience more. I think we all get that for sure. I know that's always something I'm trying to, like, grow around, too. It's not easy. It's not. Um. I was just thinking. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to save. I'm just wondering. It's been a while. But I'm thinking about maybe trying to take you guys with me down to the goat. I don't know. It's just like, let's see. If I look for things and wander, because the goats are hungering, like, and it's getting close to time for them. And I'm, my brain is starting to get a little fried on the building here. And so let's see. If we can't bum, bum, uh, get it set up so you guys can come along with me for some goat pets and cuddles. Let's see here. Bum, bum, bum. Yay, goat. Yay, goats. We shall see. Um. Let's see if I can make it work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Egg, are you already done with stream? Are you really? I was going to come and I have so many channel points. <laughs> Congratulations again on hitting partner egg. That's so big. Okay. I am trying to remember how to do this. Um, okay. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, in theory, oh, why can't it said it's telling me orientation is locked. Rotate device back. Why? That makes me feel nervous. I'm running away. I don't like that. <laughs> oh hmm I'm trying to like think of the best way to do this. So now I'm like looking at my screen and it's like, mm, are you live? No. It's a lie. Oh, wait. Okay. No, you're still seeing my OBS. Yes. Okay. Hmm. 
I think I'm gonna have to wait until I have a day where I have more time to set up beforehand. I'm hoping for Saturday, um, but I think that it's been too long since I've <laughs> done a full goat stream, and so um, instead maybe the goats are going wild, and so instead maybe um, like so I'd love to like be able to go out and like give them all pets, but then I can't talk to you because I'll be over there um oh my gosh that's so cute but yes it is about that time for them so i'm gonna uh go take care of the goats and i don't know i will probably end up being in the discord i don't a little bit later tonight i'm not sure if i'm gonna be playing games or doing quiet time or just hanging but it's been it's felt like it's been too long since i've got to stream because i was gonna stream the other day but then I ended up having to do work stuff for my mom's bookkeeping things and it was just too much and so instead I was like well what if we just um try not <laughs> and like and so it's been a little bit I just I've missed you guys and it was nice to get to just sit and play the sims and, and build and and blabber talk and so Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And as I'm finding someone for us to go and see, uh, Darlin and Tammy are actually battling right now. So hang on just one second. Goat battle. Goat battle. <laughs> I'm like trying to grab the goat cam. So we can like bring this over here and over here. <laughs> go battle, go battle. I love you, Lottie, and Potato and Egg and Grumpy, everybody. You're all so, so sweet to me. Sorry, I got distracted by the goats because just like they're just too funny. They're just too funny and cute, and I just love them too, too, too much. Um, let's see. Yes, thank you. Darlene started to look like she is smuggling too. Stop, Grumpy. They can't all be smuggling babies. They can't all be. <gasps> oh my goodness. I hope. Ooh. I, I'm just hoping that she just ate a bunch of grass and hay. And that's why she looks ginormous right now. That's my hope and goal, honestly. <laughs> Um, let me see who's playing Sims. Mm -hmm. I would love to, like, watch some more building, too. Feeling, feeling like I'm in a buildy kind of mood. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I have found, oh, hang on just one second. I want to make sure that they're, um, I don't think that they're English speaking, unfortunately. Ah. Why is that so cool? It doesn't translate very well. Like, oh, she is English speaking. Yay! Okay, because she it has uh, Japanese and Chinese on her tags, and so I didn't know because it didn't have um, English. But yay! Okay, we're gonna go see uh, Mira Mira VT. I don't know her them, but um, I'm excited to go and find a new friend, and I appreciate some nice cozy build space so let's see and also like no more christmas babies though for real <laughs> oh my goodness friends well here is the sub raid command here's the raid command um like i said i am hoping to at the very least stream on saturday if not uh tomorrow i don't know yet what the plan for tomorrow is but um 
yeah thank you guys i really appreciate the space the goats are going wild as they know that it's about time for their dinner um so i'm gonna go give them lots of snuggles and kisses and i will see you next time thank you so much for that follow lapel welcome in bye Yes? Coach McGoat? <laughs> Thank you so much, brother! Whoa! Hello! Oh, it's a goat! Oh! Oh, no! Hello! Oh, my God! Oh, it's... Oh, hello! I can't even... I can't even properly thank all of you! What? Hello? Oh, my God! I... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>